class? Or Trevor's the only one that did it. I don't really need to. He just cross dresses. He don't cross class. <laughs> when he wears all that armor. What do you think I wear under my sweatpants? Exactly. Just thinking it'd be cross class. Yeah, I know. What would I cross class with, though? Please, nothing spell catcher. I don't even know what you I are. I was going to say, war or not, I was going to say, um. Wizard? Sorcerer. No. Mechanic sorcerer? Would that work? Mm, not really. No. 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 Wizard? You, your magic runs off different things. Oh, different things. Yeah, as a cleric, yours runs off charisma. A wizard runs off intelligence. Warlock and sorcerer runs off of wisdom, I think? Yeah. So you do bard. A cleric bard. <laughs> I don't think he wants to sit out. <laughs> I just don't necessarily have to yeah, sing. They can be they can be an inspirational speaker. This voice doesn't sing. I would sing. You might not like it, but I would sing. <laughs> so they wouldn't be very inspirational. <laughs> Everyone loses like a D twenty. Right. Like, like we start <laughs> losing hit points. <laughs> no, you have a you have a um D D inspiration die. I make it. I roll the negative no. five. Right. The higher okay, I scaling. roll, the shittier I sing, and you guys win just so that you don't have to hear me again. <laughs> yeah, that's your inspiration for not having to hear it. A reverse bard. <laughs> <A> reverse psychology. <laughs> okay, that's everything now. Everything. I'm inspired not to hear her sing. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inspired not to shoot her in the face. <laughs> Oh, it's in the kitchen by the fridge. The blue one? Yeah. Oh, wow. Amazing. All right, guys, let's win this thing, so sh she'll shut up. I just, I just killed the damn thing, so she stopped singing. Thanks, <laughs> The enemies don't even want to come near us. Inspire this real quick. Inspire the enemies to, inspire the enemies to stay away. Yeah. As soon as he gets played. Oh, okay. I already hit play. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Oh, well, hey everybody, welcome to Double Bat. Uh, I didn't know we were rolling, we had a few technical difficulties due to my own personal errors, but now it's all fixed and we're good to go. So where we left off last week, the party was sent on the second half of their mission to retrieve the Eye of a Beholder. After venturing into the vast oblivion, finding out that there was a slight resistance in the works to rise up, they managed to build a small army, actually, and take down a Beholder. Um, Nick found himself a nice little toy while he was in there, and they found some little, little bits of loot here and there, and Marin wandered her way into being bound up in iron bands after the Beholder incident. <coughs> you mean the... Uh, uh, no, Beholder, I'm sorry, the Basilisk incident. Basilisk. So, it's yeah. still a B-word. Yeah. Wrong B-word. Wrong, wrong B-word. It was pretty much... <laughs> it was still a pretty big wonder. Uh, I mean, it'd be like that sometimes, <laughs> right? Yeah. But... So th that is where we leave off. The party's just stay now just finished um, taking it down, taking on the beholder. Nick found his crossbow. Had Irvon translate the elven writing on there. And yeah, that's where we're at. Did we ever uh, help those people that have been turned to stone? No. By the uh, by the beholder. No. Are we going to? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I won't. All right. So we'll cast for. I see you spend 20 minutes ritual casting your, um, what was it, minor okay. restoration? Minor, no. I, I got my level, but I don't have anything else from it. It's major restoration. Oh, wrong cure cheat. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, divided up the stones, too, didn't we? Yeah. I just don't know which ones I have. I have the... the yeah, they're just not on there because I've been having trouble making them on the Indian Beyond. Oh, oh, I, I don't even... Oh, know the orbs? Oh, I didn't even no, make... The no, the little crystal you guys found. Yeah, the box of stones I found, you know, the, the baby's hand, the uh, blink, the... Yeah, those the ones. two topaz, the two yeah. emerald, and the oh, two... Oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. took a big B's hand. I took a big B's yeah, hand. Yeah, there's no other because I've been having trouble making them on D&D Beyond. No, but other than that... Because I didn't make note of... The crossbow is the only other yeah. thing. Right. You have the crossbow. We both I have the big B's. You have the other four. 
that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was I didn't make note of who had what with yep. those. Yeah, those it's not wanting to cooperate with yet. It's uh yeah, that's why I've got Big B's handwritten on here. There was six total. Which oh, could be here well. Was the uh the dickhead one? The dickhead. one? Didn't he get killed no, outright though? Killed. Or he just died. Right? Yeah, he got killed outright, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh short cast it. Six There's only two. Oh, uh, only two? Yeah. Sweet. One twenty minutes oh, ritual cast. Okay. Yeah, so there's only two of them. Yeah, so you ritual cast, you free them and the only guy's just like ah! Wait. What? You're good. You're good. Oh, okay. Where did we go? They left. They were so heavy, we could have made them like kissing each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they. He kind of you know, looks at the other. He's like, "Get the fuck out of here, Johnny. I want a beer." <clears throat> do, do I have one for me? Oh, I'm gonna have six. Don't worry. Oh, okay. good. <laughs> and they both wander out. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's start drinking. <laughs> So you guys are just in this room. One way in, one way out. The whole is layer. Is there anything? I think we burned through the room. I think we burned through the room. You guys already cleared the room out. Okay. Got the stones, you got the crossbow. Right. The, the ball of steel bands or whatever yeah. they're called. Yeah. Do you remember the yeah. layer of word for it? Yeah, don't. I remember the word it's. Don't. Don't. <laughs> if you it's remember it, use that. I trust you. It's big. <laughs> if you say you remember, I trust you. Just, <laughs> just throw it at a random person. <laughs> That's how it works. Let's, do we know the radius of like how far? Say it's you have to roll a basic attack before we. Oh, okay. Along. Okay. Good. So it'd be a basic range attack when you throw it and use a command word, and then it, if you hit, <laughs> okay. If they they become. If they fail their strength saving throw, gotcha. right? Which is the DC twenty. If I if I get that one, do I like do it to myself? You'll. Probably break a bone. It's what, yeah, it's whoever's new, uh, whoever's closest to you when it goes off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't discriminate between the, the wielder and the, uh, the, it really the target. No, it's pretty much like a roll of the dice. <laughs> they lock two of you together. Well, that, would, yeah. that would crush someone. That yeah. would hurt. Because it's made to hold one person, so you get two people double that. one going to die. Double that. A double that one would Throws it around both people. of these guys. <laughs> face to face. Oh, no. <laughs> What a way to go. It's okay. Exactly. <laughs> force a, his face through your... There's a yeah, small... Exactly. Uh, I would probably be the one crushed. Yeah. No, not me. Because there's a small little face plate that'll keep our wings from touching. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're just, kissing you through the face plate. You'll, you'll, you'll still be eating my flesh and blood and... Is his tongue squirting through the little slit? His <laughs> <laughs> anyway, eyeballs pop out. Whoops. Make uh, jelly. Oh, just close. Close your mouth. Close your breath. Close your mouth. Yeah. Close your breath. <laughs> That's it. Squish us into jelly. Okay, so like the goblins. Well, you guys have your else? Do you want to go around here or? No, I was thinking like the pop. We should keep going. I don't think we should keep moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Okay. Alright, so mm -hmm. you guys gonna work your way back out or? We should yeah. move forward. I feel like no, because you're in one room. Oh, right. There's no one way in. One, yeah, way, one way in, one way out. Yeah, let's go. Out. I mean, did we take a rest after a no. fight? No. Well, he was. Ritually casting for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah so I'd say you guys got a short rest in with that. Yeah. Uh, but, okay, so after a while, you guys start working your way back down and out, back down into the main chamber, and the stone that lowered you guys down is lowered down, ready for you to go. It'll raise you back up to the bridges. Right back up to it. You guys go right back up, and there's more bridges to go across, and you guys start heading out, and it's about. Good four hours walking later, and you guys hear, Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Is it? Yes, it's on. Oh, okay, good. Space, was it? I don't know. Try moving to the other side of the room and try again. Hold on a second. <laughs> Is this thing on? I'm uh, sorry. Uh, try the other corner. It's still kind of staticky. I can't hear you. I get you guys are screwed with me now. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> now that we have all the components... And everything is good to go. We just need to find a location for this assault. Dale online. The yes, I have a couple, but it's ultimately up to you guys. The problem is this ritual will stop them from coming through, but also draw them closer. 
I've done a little more research. But in the event that they do come through, they will be coming through in a hostile manner towards whatever is nearby, so which would be the rest of them. But we don't want to do it before we even get down there because it might wear off before we even get there. This is why I would have you guys contact me when you guys are ready. You just have to pick the location. I will send what we need for you guys to set up. And then I begin the ritual on my end. And then they come through and hopefully kill each other. Sealing them back on their sides. So we'll do that when we have visual on the actual machine. Yeah. All right. We could just shut the machine down before anything comes through. Well, we could do this. That way, if anything comes through while we're trying to shut down. Right. We don't have to. Um, um, but there is still the matter of you guys getting the blood of the infantile demon prince in this world. That's right. Which is, um, well, they come through in infant form. Right. Yes. So we gotta get down to the we engine down there. before right. you can even do it. Right. Well, one of them is already through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but short time and he'll be full grown. It won't be an infant. Right. How long does it take? Like two, two days. days. He has come through today. Oh, so we have time to look for it. Wait, today, uh, that's it. We got a day. A we, day we to find our way down there. So got 36 then. hours. So then we gotta move. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it seems like the easiest path, like, find it. Yeah, well, that, it's just a matter of getting down there, so... We gotta get do, do, we, do we have a, an idea of which way we need right. to go? Where do we go? Mm-hmm. Well, what do you guys see? We just, we just came out of the holder's lair. Okay. And across a bunch of bridges and Okay. I have no idea. I'm not entirely sure where we're at. Can I roll an investigation to see what I see? Go for it. Is it? I don't know. To get maybe a better. I've got the perception to see oh, what you see. Uh three. Nope. You see wood planks underneath your feet. Oh, I see wood planks. Does that help? No, not even slightly. I wish I could hear. Eighteen. I wish I could hear you. I rolled a 4 for perception. Oh no, just perception. I don't performance. That's a, I hope you're not trying to perform. That's a 13 anyway. My performance would be 11. And boy, would it be great. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you guys see down there is you're starting to get out of the vast oblivion towards more bioluminous caves. But these are kind of like a darker, dingier hue to the globe. You can still see. You can. <laughs> but it's almost like pulsing light, like do blues and greens flowing through them. Oh, gross. There's like veins going through the wall with the fungus coming out of them. And yeah, it's already good to me. I'm just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> some really shitty glowing mushrooms. Right? <laughs> okay. So, give me one moment while I look through my books and see where you're at. Based off of this, uh... Did we say people? No, I think we said everyone back to the town. That's right. We're not getting them involved, really. They've still freaking out. Okay. Stupid so, D&D behind. By my best estimates, you are somewhere between what is marked as the troglodyte's lair and, oh no. Well then. That is, um, unfortunate. This doesn't sound The, uh, Temple of the Ooze. Oh, that sounds familiar. And I don't. Because it's where, when everybody flushes the toilets, it runs down to there. That sounds ominous. And they come to a little more insight? Oh, well, I wish I did too. This is, um, there's a being they refer to as the Ooze King. Ooze King. Yes. Giant fuck. Yes. (laughs) Great. How much toilet paper do we have? (laughs) Not enough. We have a cleric, does that count? I can cast a giant Sean. rainstorm and wash him down the drain. Instead of it uh, <laughs> doing the skills that it was supposed to do, yeah. you know, my survival and, uh, uh, was it survival, nature, and medicine, Yeah. it boosted my sleight of hand, persuasion, and deception. So what? So what is that now? Plus 11. Oh my Holy god. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, interesting. Oh, whoa. I'm gonna yeah. talk. I'll talk the demon into trying to die back here. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> You're rolling 19. That's a 30. What is Jesus? What? Oh, what is out? Uh, oh yeah. No, I know. Okay. We'll find out. 
It's a movie. Really good one. Yeah, actually. <laughs> so, then it goes by, he's like, well, do you guys like fighting? Uh, how should I put this? Um, big, slimy balls of goo or lizard people? I thought it was a cat. Um, it's a puppy. Oh, this is a cat squad. Hey, big lizard people. Like you're breathing, or kind of like a tiger cub. Uh, <laughs> it could be either. Like, it doesn't have like a body. people, or like lizard people. I'll draw it again. Uh, best I can tell, lizard people. Big, scaly, ugly. They're evil. And they, from what they, from what I can tell, they smell really bad. They're evil. They're... It's just a crawl. Well, if, if we wind up fighting a, a ooze, may have a couple things I can use to fight it, otherwise I'm screwed. I don't know if ooze is affected by crutches. Yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> or you thorns, or... Um, or lightning. I don't yeah. know how Anything magic. Is. Yeah. Any spells There's or magic dopey. items? All oh, cool. Snoopy. Snoopy. I mean, I have a... I still have that necklace with a cone of cold. S and I have one charge of fireball... one of fireball left. I have a wizard beetle. Doesn't it... It doesn't recharge? We haven't taken a long rest yet. Oh, well, they just got, just got short rest while he was oh. doing that. Oh, shit. Do I get spell slots when I have a short rest? I think you might regain some. I think it's with hit points. Maybe. Right. Well, then we can take a long rest before we go. Yeah, but then... Probably should, because... <laughs> but then Demon Prince, baby. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to have to kill him and wait for the next one. I mean, we have 36, and so it's 8 hours, so that, I'm saying 36, I have no idea. Oh, roughly 36 hours. Yeah. We'll assume 36, so what, that leaves us 28. That leaves us a day and some time, a day and some change to find it, right? Right? Might be our best, uh, I guess it might be our best option. I'm Asian and sound. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going, what, what are we doing? Those are people or who's I Which is your circle? <laughs> what, uh, you your druid ones? What circle is it? Circle of lamb. Circle of lamb. Oh, okay. So, basically, lizard people or ooze, I choose lizard people 24 7. I see. We'll just freeze the place. They're cold blooded. They'll be frozen solid. They'll go into hibernation. We sneak in, chop off their heads, and we win. <laughs> oh, what's her? Have a spell for that. It uh, it's so it's troglodytes lair or yeah, troglodytes lair. Troglodytes or... are wimpy little lizards. I'm a druid now. I know these things. <laughs> <laughs> so much wisdom. <laughs> so wise. That's a sassy druid. She's a sassy one. She's a sassy. A sassy monk druid. Oh. I was something. <laughs> something special. All right, so depending on which way you guys go, take your rest. Contact you when you're when you're ready to go, and I will be able to direct you as best I can. Contact you how? And we're gonna contact you. We don't know magic. Well, we know magic, but we don't know your magic. Well, yeah. then I'll give you guys eight hours, and I'll start bugging you. Okay, cool. Cool. Tastes like a personal alarm clock. Is his name Asher, by any way? <laughs> no, but close. Especially with these. I can't remember how to pronounce it. He's a, he's a drow. He sounds an awful lot like Asher Mayer. That's the personality I got when I saw the picture of him. Except after being a lot less condescending than Asher is, so... Just wait. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, so, I will contact you. Bye. Can you the dog He'll eat it. Good dogs are good at They back to themselves. Sometimes. I had a shepherd though, he would completely clean up after himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He'd shit and then eat it. Yeah. Oh, so that, but... mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you guys are gonna the middle of the bridge take a long rest? No. The middle of the well, bridge. No, the bridge. No, 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 Jesus. Next thing you know, we'll have to make a constitution rolls in our sleep. <laughs> or a bridge will just give out. Right? <laughs> or roll off the ridge. Right? <laughs> I don't, I don't so know how easy it is to roll over in full plate. <laughs> I pretty much just lay down and then don't move. <laughs> just, <laughs> yep. It right. takes too much effort. I'm just gonna push him over and then he's like, okay, I'm gonna take a nap here. Yep. Use my just body. push him over on his face. Use my body as a pillow, it's fine. Yeah. I'll just hang upside down by my tail like a possum. 
Is there anything to hang from? Not on the, the bridge. The bridge. No. <laughs> you don't want to do that. No. <laughs> okay, let's let's go to the land. I right, yeah. so you guys walk for about another two hours so you find you come to this, this cliff face the bridge is loosely tied to. It's opening and like, opening for a cave and right the inside. The bridge was that long? It was several bridges interconnected from um, it was, stalagmites. It was like a bridge uh, until we found another bridge and then it was kind of safe and then there's another bridge. So. Yeah, so different rope bridges yep. networked through these yo, caverns. I like, yo, dog, I heard you like bridges. So okay. here's another bridge and <laughs> so I put another bridge on that bridge to go to this bridge over on that bridge. Yeah. <laughs> All the bridges. Yes. Cross all the bridges. So you said it took about two hours? Yeah. So in six hours, he's going to be bothering us again. I know, right? <laughs> yep. All right, so so you guys, we won't get a full rest. <sighs> I'm going to count as a long rest for you guys. Can we, can we like, tell him to buzz off until two more hours? Can we, like, snooze, snooze. him for two hours? <laughs> <laughs> Hit snooze. But welcome to try. <laughs> Somebody said I was going to do it when he uh, contacted us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so about six hours later, hey. You guys, it's been eight hours. No, no, uh, mm, but I snooze. Two hours. What? Two, what? Two? Two more. Okay, I'll be back in two hours. <laughs> two hours later. Okay, it's been two hours. Okay. Let's go right now. Got all my spell slots ready. I'm good to go. Right, so, so, to the lizard things. <laughs> to the lizard oh. peoples. From what I read, once you reach the end of the bridge, you should reach a cavern, which will split into four, uh, four different directions. You want to take the centered left path. The center right will take you to the ooze. Hmm. And you do not want to go there from what I just read. Yeah, oh. no, we don't. Considering this ooze king is splitting off into multiple oozes every day. Yeah, no, I'm good. He can be the ooze king. Yeah. At least it's not like the ones I've had to deal with before that each time you hit it, it split. Oh, they do that too. Yeah, we can just let until them they get down. Are they, are they invading or otherwise and, malicious? Until they get down to the real little ones, and Not then there. they're just yeah, exactly multiples. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> literally <laughs> hands everything. Fucking those people. So fireball. You guys keep walking <laughs> <the> ways <laughs> and then about twenty minutes. You see the four points, the four different paths that split off. Are we gonna go over the center, center left? left. Okay, so you guys walk down there and show sure, center left, not center right. I wrote it down as center L. <laughs> center L. So unless Avoid I'm, ooze. Right? <laughs> Do not. If you want to go center right, that's fine. But we're not splitting. But we're not, we're so not, we're not center right. We're, we're not the uh, right one of the ooze. We'll be fuck up on top of the other directions. So, <laughs> oh, jeez. So we go center left. Yep. Center left. Yeah. Your yeah. other left. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's my left. Center left. Yeah. I see it's your left arm. Center left. <laughs> <laughs> So after you guys have a little debate in the little chamber, <laughs> start walking down the path. Hey, everyone to roll perceptions. Yes. Oh. Oh. 19. Uh, yep. 19. Perception. Okay. okay. I got 20 to show up. Mm-hmm. Eight, 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 Oh, right. I, I got 19, he got 19, I think he got 19. You guys, as you're walking, you start getting this, it all smells like sewage oh, yeah, back. Yes. and rotting flesh. Nice. Wait, what did guys, you say? I'm gonna as you guys start walking this tunnel, you start getting this scent of like raw sewage and rotting flesh. Yeah. Alright, what would you guys have? Wasn't me. I'm with the last person that should be going in many years. <laughs> it wasn't me. Sometimes those mushrooms would make smell like ass. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't eat them, I blow them up. They blow you up too. Food and drink on the air. Do what? Use purified food and drink on the air. Doesn't work like that. Does that I wish no. it did. <laughs> Is there um, purified air spell? Gust of wind? Gust of, I have that, but I don't want to shoot a gust of wind down this tunnel. No. <laughs> to announce our presence to everything down at the end of the tunnel. I mean, they might just think it's someone taking a giant step. That's just like the. <laughs> I can I can shake the ground really well. So can I. <laughs> All right, so you guys keep going and walking down this winding path that gets a little bit more narrow and narrow, where you have to walk single file through. The stench is getting worse and heavier in the air the further you walk. Guys, I don't think this is the smell of lizards. No. We have no other better heading, and we know at least one place where we didn't want to go. So, here we are. I feel like we're going to the place we didn't want to go. I feel like he told us the right way. This is just how it is. Uh, gross. 
We could, we could be coming up on their dumping ground. Who knows? If I if I get you Uzaki, I'm throwing my ball at you. If you get <laughs> deal. <laughs> <laughs> So it's something you just falls on the ceiling now. <laughs> right? <laughs> so then it just starts. How do I get my spell? As you walk, the tunnel plunges sharply downward into this into the open the mouth of this cavern. Let's see. The vast open cavern dimly lit by luminescent fungus yeah. and bisected by an underground stream. Uh, you see across the room a tall re- tall reptilian figures on either side of the stream. Oh. Yep, they don't seem to notice you guys yet. Should we talk to them? Uh, as you guys watch, they're still there howling and hissing each other, threatening each other with weapons. Oh, we shouldn't. So we probably should either try to sneak through or something, because I don't think that's going to be enough. Yeah, they're, they're distracting each other. It's perfect. We can sneak through. Do we see like any sort of like clear path through them that's not... Riddled with them? <laughs> oh, deception. Sixteen? Fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Okay. I, you guys see there's different openings that go off to the room beyond where you can see through the light. There's very little light there is. See, to your left there's a path, to the right there's a sharp corner, and there's one across the room. So we need to get rid of these two? No. no there's the different openings throughout the room. You can't tell no, which I'm one. I'm talking about the lizards. We need to get rid of those two? I don't think we necessarily need to get rid of them. We need to get through this area. If we can sneak past them, we won't have to kill them. You want me to try to sneak? Take off your armor. I'm going to go sneaking off up towards them. I'm going to roll self. Okay. Thirty-three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, wrong sheet. Twenty-four. Oh yeah, you manage. Yeah, you, know, you go up to a little ridge, you slide down quietly, and you move off to the side to the left. As you see, there's a slope that goes down underneath this little area. As you move around to the wall, you see the stream goes through into the wall. And they're all about 60 feet ahead of you, just arguing with each other. The stream's about ankle deep. No, I wanted to go right up behind oh. them. Yeah, so you're working your way yeah. up around to them, up the stream. Yeah. Now, there's six of them on either side of the stream just hissing and threatening at each other. And you get, like, right up, like, 10 feet from them. You said two or s- There's 12 of them total on each side. Well, six on each side of the river. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be behind the ones to where the other ones on the other side can't see me. I'm going to throw a rock and nail one of them. Roll and attack. <laughs> See, that would just be like a range. Yeah, it'd be a range, basic range Try attack. Start a fight between yeah. them so they'll take each other out and then move on what's left. Right. Or sneak back and make through with them, whichever happens. I mean, we get loot if we kill them. 16. Well, this, taking up my That's a hit. So you just peg one right between the eyes. And he's pissed. He's pulling javelins out and throwing them across the way at those ones. Okay, I'm gonna take cover. All right, so you get covered behind some rocks and let's see. How's this gonna go? One die for each side. And so far, they're both missing entirely at each other in the first <laughs> round. They're blinded by rage. Right. Oh, that someone got a good one. Half the ones on the far side of the river just went down from javelins being thrown at them. This must be from your deck. Don't match any of mine. Yeah, that's the Xanathar's deck. Yeah. yeah. And one of them, you see one of the large ones that you know, you're standing behind, leaps across the river and starts mauling into one of them. And he's just ripping and just tearing this thing's throat out. Pretty okay. much. <laughs> you guys should be able to go. Yeah. Yes. Go <laughs> sneak. So if you want to eat that snake, they're fighting. Oh, no. I'd rather play. I'd rather not risk it because I don't want to be clopping around. Yeah, I'm still late. Still I don't want that guy who's getting I sound like to beat me. You're right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to try to move as quietly as possible. Yes. Okay. 15. 22. 14 for stealth. So I got to pick up the Circle of Moon Druid cards. 
single points. And I just sorted out all the red, my others that were mixed up. Nice. I want to play a circle of uh, harvest, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, That's what you get? It's 22. 18. 14. Okay. So yeah, you guys start moving pretty uh, pretty quietly along, following kind of the path he did. And with that one left, you look over and he just vanishes. He takes a couple steps with the rock and just disappears. What? With it? The lizard dude. Oh, jeez. Where'd he go? The rest are dead. He's the only one left. He's the only one left? Yeah. And he just vanished? And he all of a sudden just got off the body and disappeared. He pooped. He oh. pooped? Color of his eyes? Was he, was he moving when he did it? Which direction? He was moving. He was across over. He moved over to the right. Yeah, up against the rock formation, just disappeared against the rocks. Okay, I'm gonna cast fairy fire. Okay, that it over that direction, and that reveals invisible. It does glitter, okay. so you can see it, it invisibility and outlines them. All right, so you cast fairy fire, and you see as it as the sparkles. What color are you gonna make them? I'm gonna go with like rainbow glitter. Rainbow All right, so just this rainbow sparkles across the room. Yes, queen. And you see this figure against the rocks, not really seeming like he's invisible, but like his skin's blending in. Yeah. And he's just looking at you now as he's slowly moving along the wall. I know his eyes have this kind of like purplish glow to him almost. How far away is he from me? From you? 80 feet. How far is he from me? Mess up me. Damn. Is he... Right. Damn. He's trying to get away from us, right? Yeah. It seems like the way he's just slowly moving along the wall, just watching all of you. Is he... He was bigger than the rest, too. He's not crawling towards me at all. Anymore. No, he's, he's like has his back to the wall, just moving along it and watching. Should we follow him? What are we doing? Did... Did, 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 did not Asher say where we, where we would go once we got through here? No. No. He didn't even say hang that left, right, or center path. I have no idea what to do next. He was just telling you guys what he found in his text. Uh, and perhaps this is one of the staking points, maybe? Should I try talking to him? Should I cast speak with him? Try, but it's probably going to get away. Well, I'm going to... Uh, Let's follow. Oh, yeah, he might be I'm gonna be paying attention to where he's moving to. I mean, I'm just gonna be like walking, you know, acting like I'm moving on. Okay. But I'm watching where he is and I'm moving towards him, but not like directly at yeah, him. Yeah. All right. So as he's you're watching him, you're he's moving along the wall, circling around the side towards the little waterfall, the little trickle down the wall. So as you're walking, you're kind of like drifting along, keeping an eye on him as he's moving along, like he's trying to move around behind you guys. Can I chase him and do him a follow at him? Is he humanoid? You're welcome to try. Does he oh, not? Is he humanoid? Should I do this? No, he's reptilian. No, he'd be considered humanoid. But tr um, tr 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 um, humanoid like. He's a humanoid size. Size? Yeah. yeah. Size uh, yeah. Humanoid. Yeah. yeah. Which is medium size. Okay. I'm, I'm just it. wondering because the word name is specific. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm trying to restrain him. <laughs> try to restrain him, yeah. Okay, so you're going to move up, you're run up in, within range and throw it out? Yeah. I'm going to walk. Okay, so make, as you run, you go bolting up there with it in hand, make your um, range attack throw. Range attack? What is that? It would be your roll plus your dex modifier. And then think, or, are you range, uh, proficient with ranged weapons? I don't have any ranged weapons. But in your proficiency, does it say. Oh, proficiency? Like martial weapons, what kind of what? What does it say for your weapons? Simple okay. weapons and short sword. So no ranged weapons. No. So you oh. get your roll plus your dex modifier. Yep. Okay. Eight plus eight. So sixteen. 16. Right, so he's got to make a DC twenty oh. strength throw. Oh. Natural. Pro I would say probably made it. Nineteen. Oh. <laughs> he's just also just bound up and. So oh, trying to move within the bindings and it's nicer than what I was gonna do. <laughs> I was just gonna walk up. And I mean, like, person. his arms are. I was gonna get in range for my new crossbow. Jesus. Aim for like an arm or something. Make it my enemy and 
and he's just laying there on the ground, grabbing these bands, and he's even going up, moving across his um, his muzzle and binding him shut. All right, well, let's go, go up there. Chat. Guess we'll have a chat with this thing. Is there anything on the corpses of the yeah. lizard people? Is it possible to just remove the mouth binding? Yeah. Okay. Have you seen Doctor Strange? Oh. Yeah, I, I, you know. Yeah. That's basically what this is. Yeah. It's, it's got an opening. I think so. Yeah, you can basically oh, move the bands down. They they can kind of, it doesn't restrict them from speaking as much as it just muffles them. Yeah. Although with him, it's wrapped around, so you have to actually put it in and move off of them. Right. And then right. you can still be able to move his tongue. Yeah, to yeah I, 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 I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's the <laughs> best comparison for that. I love that thing. As well, you guys get up to him, and he just. Move his mouth. Does he speak? Do you speak common? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> speaks something. He speaks angry. Mom? Chill. <laughs> that sounds like my wife. <laughs> oh, I knew that about you. Oh, jeez. Oh, You tell he's straight moving his neck like he's trying to thrash, but he can't quite. Moving like at all, it's like it's completely restricting every movement he has. You're not getting out of there. You, you, the you know, struggle, it's eventually say, gonna hurt. I say, you know, if you, you stop moving, it wouldn't hurt so much. I don't. We have him now, but what do we do with him? Ask him questions. He, he's not speaking. He doesn't. Well, he will in a minute. <laughs> Are you trying to find out what find what spells we've got? I might just punch him in the face. <laughs> I'm going to say something to him in deep speech. Say, you know, do you understand me now? He just kind of look, glares at you, like, no response. Yeah. No, that's right, and under common also. No response. Okay. I mean, they're smart enough to make weapons, so we should have speech. I can cast so much truth if we just want to get this answer. Yeah, but if we can't understand how don't, I don't have to. Truth, I don't have to cast it to, to that's the true. truth. But if, um, yeah. but if we can't under, hardly understand him. You don't need zone of truth. Everybody can understand each other. Can't they? You have to no, speak the same uh, language. Same language. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hello. Oh, well. No, he doesn't have a reaction to that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Yeah, I don't know what to do because we can't hardly understand him. So. And if- we release him just, just yet. He's just gonna kill try and kill us. Yeah, we could just kill him. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't. I mean, he is evil. Right. Yeah, I think so. Take it. Can I try speaking to it in um infernal? Go for it. Can you understand a vernal? Don't growl at me, kicks. <laughs> roll on his head. Actually, you don't really don't need to. Just roll on his head. There he is. Just kick him. Kick D6. Him. Fucking growl at me. Yeah. Just... One. <laughs> roll it again. No, 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 no. It was, that was for damage. Oh, that was for damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. He still doesn't break eye contact with you, just growling at you. You see the purple in his eyes is kind of swirling inside of him. I don't like this. It's almost glowing. I feel like we should abandon him. Just leave him. Can't leave that here. No. Is he possessed? We'll just kill him. Try to purify him. Does he look possessed? What I know of Make a religion check. Purify his filth. Uh, chill, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Except religion? Yeah. (laughs) Nineteen. You can tell there's something inside of him that's not troglodyte. You tell by the glowing, swirling eyes. Yeah. And you, as you're looking at him, you know, thinking about all the religious texture, you see his scales kind of flutter a little bit across his skin, like they lift up for a second. Okay. Can you try using your god stone on him? God stone. God stone. I don't really want to. Is there, wanna, like, is there like a god of I, purity? It might be, but I don't really want to just press gods up against him <laughs> and hope for the best. Like, you might have some move back to your holy symbol. Hold up your holy symbol and see if he reacts. I could, yeah, I'll do that. Do whatever's inside there. Just hold it up and like react against it. Intently. <laughs> Twenty-one. 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 Tw
<laughs> okay, Sweet. he's... <laughs> Neat out. That doesn't work. So... I'm just looking. That's how we get it. Like, like, I can like, like you said, it, it, it reacted to you in Infernal, right? Like, it's had the same reaction to every language so far. Yeah, it doesn't really... Yeah, but the thing that's inside it might understand. Yeah, but in, at least understand that. Infernal isn't the same as demonic or whatever. Demonic is something else, isn't in, it? Infernal is devil, right? Yeah. 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 Demons are something else, I think. Um, it seems pretty chaotic to be the devil. A celestial and elemental fae, a fiend, or an undead. I can dismiss it. And then a 16 other person saving throw. Be sent back to its own plane. I just don't know what it is. So. <laughs> Well, whatever it is, is not friendly. Right, no, no, no. We can, we can ascertain at least that much. Yeah. <laughs> Actually. I can give it punches of fury. It's like a hummstone. <laughs> well, radiance. I, I don't know if that could dispel it either. I uh, so it. Oh, people, the decisions that all they have. But the cleric is technically a priest. I have no like, bless some water and make it into holy water and we shove it down this guy's throat. <laughs> Drawn in the neck. Do demons have the same in game effect as they do like, in the real world? There's demons and there's devils. No, I'm well, yeah, but, like, yeah. possession. Demons possess, right? Or devils. Devils can possess too. Sure, yes. Can't. Yeah, we could, like, oh, perform an exorcism mm -hmm. here. Be gone, foul demon! I can. Be gone! I, I can't do that. Thing. I oh, can't. Thing. I just don't know what it is, and I don't know if it's something that's going to be useful. So I don't just want to banish it and be done with it. It laughed at me. It laughed at me, too. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Because I can just kind of uh, ritual cast hollow. <laughs> I don't know. We take too long. You might get out of this thing. You're absolutely right. Oh, is that why you... But I'm hoping that he's going to give me more time because I'm just looking through my spell list. Time pause. <laughs> Maybe. We're pausing the universe. I just don't know what to do. We, just, we have a time stone. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cupcake. Three people have cupcakes. Okay. <laughs> Wait, oh shit. We need those six seconds? Okay. Oh. <laughs> right. Hey, you know what she's done? Don't fall. What? Do I, what can I do? What can I do? Kill the thing. <laughs> That's what I can do with a homicidal. You know, sometimes we need to think beyond your homicidal tendencies and come up with an actual fucking solution. What do you think he's doing? <laughs> <laughs> What, 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 what do you think he's doing? That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so I have... I have Dispel Evil and Good, which will let me, as my action, make a melee spell attack against a Celestial and Elemental Fae of the Indoor Mount Fae in Reach. Does that count for him if he's possessed? Possibly. Okay. Maybe if it's one of those things. If it is, yeah. It's Any something. devil or demon is going to be a fiend. Right. I hit, you attempt to drive the creature back to its own plane. You can see the creature is saving throw. You sent back to its own plane. Do, 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 do. Sweet. And then I also can just cast all that. <laughs> what does that do? Uh, I touch a point and fuse an area around it with holy or not holy power. The area can have a radius up to 60 feet. The spell fails if the radius includes an area already under the effect of hollow. First, celestials on with those faith means an undead can't enter. Uh, I'm sorry, can't enter the area, nor can't creep nor can such creatures charm, frighten, or possess creatures within it. Cool. Any creature charmed, frightened, or possessed by such creatures no longer charmed, frightened, or possessed upon entering the area. You can exclude one or more of those types. So they basically will rip the thing out of the yeah, thing. Yeah, second, I can also cast a whole bunch of other shit. But it's not anything that will just keep it here. Well, whatever. Infected creatures can't move or travel using teleportation by extra mental. Extra dimensional. Uh, 
Sorry. Well, you're thinking I need to cast something out. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take his ball out of the tower? He's going to cast out of the demon. He's going to take his ball out of the tower? Yep. Cast his ball out of the tower. Yep. <laughs> this is where things get interesting, folks. I would say without knowing what it is and not really wanting to release it so it could possess something else. Could this be the demon baby prince? I feel like that would come through in a physical form. Not in a form. Would I know? Make a religion check. Sweet. I mean, I don't know what these demon princes are capable of. I would hope being a cleric, I would understand a little bit about demons. I <laughs> would hope so. No, I don't want jack shit. What'd you do? It's two. Oh, yeah. You're like, I, it, maybe. <laughs> you feel like there's a possibility. It's a positive. It's a 50-50. Whether or not, I don't fucking know. I'm tempted to think that it's not. But, uh, yeah, no. I'm just gonna... Do we take some of this thing's blood anyway, just in case? <laughs> yeah. Why yeah. would we be taking the creature's blood, not the thing inside it? Well, if, if it's if, possessed, if it's possessed there, be it, would there be... There wouldn't really be the anything... Same. There wouldn't be anything that we could... Make another religion check. Yeah. I'm just... Fifteen. You get the feeling there's a strong possibility... You're gonna take the blood. With the con with the recent de um, uh, demon activity in the area? Yeah, I'm gonna take the blood. <laughs> No, I'm just spitballing here. Because I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it works that way, but. Does anybody have a glass vial? Does Poopy uh, Joe have a, <laughs> have a glass vial on hand? Poopy Joe he probably has one. Pat, him, pat, pat his pockets real quick. Just, I, guess, just, I don't know if he has one. Can I have a pocket one? It, we don't know if he has any. That's no, yeah, you're, you're reaching well, blind and being like, oh, I'm going to magically pull one out of his ass. <laughs> I got to grab something else. I got healing potion vials that I can empty out. Let me, let me see if there's a way to talk to it. I love doing this to the party. Don't judge me. I'm not judging. I'm talking to them. I gotta make you guys think. Not everything's gonna be hit and smash and kill. I know, but that's that's what I'm good at. That's what we're all good at. Um, we all gotta not. We gotta. We all gotta. You know, try to think outside of it. What it is? Okay. Yeah. So Tom's grants the creature you touch the ability to understand any spoken language it hears. Moreover, when the target speaks, any creature that knows at least one language and can hear the target understands what it says. So you could use that to try and talk to it. I could. It lasts for one hour. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do it. With we'll seal its fate before that one hour. I'm gonna do it, and then you're gonna suffer on it. Um. What? You have to cast its voice. No, because I. I, just I think wanna, it understands us. I, I think it's just mocking us. I just want to cast spells on something. <laughs> okay, just, just... I'm afraid it's gonna hurt me, <laughs> and I'm cautious. Well, it's not. Unless it breaks out of that thing, you're fine. The only thing that's going to hurt you is waiting too long until it breaks out and does hurt you. Yeah, whatever. All right, I'm going to yeah, cast Tommy on the eyes of person. I don't think there's any save. Is there, does that be a will creature? The spell grants the creature you touch. <laughs> no, that's it. It's just touch one hour. Uh, to understand, moreover, yeah, to understand any spell can So I'm just going to have it understand common. Okay. And be like, there we go. So homeboy and the demon inside can understand common now. <laughs> So, Mr. Persuasive, ask away. I'm going to ask him. Who we can start you? by who are you? Who are you? <laughs> what are you? And what are you doing who, here? Who and what are you? And why did you possess this lizard thing? Crest. What? Crest. Crest? G R A Z apostrophe Z T. No. G R. Crest. Grazed? Crest. Who is that? Me. Okay. Us. 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 Him. Do I them. know who that is? All of them. I am, I am Legion for we are. I am Legion for we are. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I, am I will persuade him to give us his life story. <laughs> oh, roll persuasion. <laughs> oh my oh. god. 21. <laughs> so he starts going on telling you about the different planes of chaos and life there and 
No, I'm just going on telling his whole story. This is good because now we know about the planet's chaos. <laughs> yeah, he just listed off different ones that are in, uninhabitable because of the different environments. And, there we go. Yeah, talking about the, the some of the demon princes, you know, Orcus. Um, uh, does he say any of them that have come through? No. Is he a demon? No, no. Not that you. Not that you guys have asked. You just asked for his life story. They would be much more. Charming. He asked for his life story. Yeah, he, for, he persuaded me to get the life story. And there's also, but um, Bothman Orcus. He start talk about him a lot. Uh, Demogorgon. Is he with any one of them? Is he one of them? Is he know. a demon are, prince? Are you I'm, a, a demon I'm, prince? I'm asking him. Is he a demon prince? He, lo- he looks at you and smiles. You see the fangs kind of draw back into smaller teeth, and you see like cracks around the eyes start forming. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, some of the scales start yes? peeling away, and I'm gonna call it a yes, just because. I'm gonna say that this one is. Think the demon prince when he captured him with the little cage thing. He's trying to. It's a. It's oh boy. We cheated, but we still won. So. <laughs> For now, I don't know, dude. Maybe he's playing with us. Maybe he. Maybe he can break out at any I second. Know. I think we need to kill him. Do you want me to just banish him? No. You want me to kill him? We need his blood. We need his blood. So take his blood. Okay. While he's restrained, right now, just take some blood so we have it, and then we'll. Okay. Yeah, so um, put it in. <laughs> that's why I'm gonna look to see if I've got like an empty vial or anything. I, like I said, I've got nine. They thought that they weren't sure if you had any kind of empty vials or anything in your, in your inventory. Not that I know of, I did. Because I don't do any heal potions or that. So. Oh, so I don't. don't do you maybe have an empty heal potion? I have one right now. You just take one, yeah. <laughs> so you chug one and okay. No and one slices his neck and he slices his neck and he is gurgling like <laughs> as the red blood starts oozing out and starts turning black and getting thicker and thicker and me who get the black cord starts action. oozing as the body starts slowly crumbling in on itself. The ooze starts seeping out as the band back into a ball. I'm gonna pick those up and it's about a four foot puddle forms this moves onto the ground. Wait, it moves? Yeah, like it's leaving. It, it as it oozed out of the body, you took the blood. It oozed out into this puddle on the ground. Oh, so it's in a puddle on the ground. Oh, okay. it is. Cool. We well, I guess I uh, cut the wrong spot to get some blood. Roll for seven. Actually, roll a uh, religion check. That's just so bad. Should I roll it for religion? So now we're really sixteen. At? You start looking at it, and it's like. So you see this, the like, hands are trying to form out of it. And it's still um, alive. Another punch. one, and then another one, and another hand. As it, you see this form starts to getting like barely form, uh, pushing itself out of this ooze as it forms up into this body. Can I? Can I punch? Can I do my use my ring of fire and punch it? You're gonna roll initiative. Can I oh. feed it a good berry? I'm gonna cast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cast banishment. <laughs> Set up for this. I don't think you can banish a demon prince. You don't oh. know that. Where'd I put him? 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 Right here. I got a seven. What's up, buddy? I'm the one that says no. You know what? That's gonna be my next character. It's gonna be a dumb shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna hack and slash that would be not but dumb. I wonder if his name is a body. So, so, so you're gonna be. Uh, Anga Bunga. So, so you're gonna be like. Uh, um, what? Havoc. <laughs> Can I keep Grog that? In the box. <laughs> this is 17. Are you going to be Grog Intelligent? Or what? Maybe just a little bit. He's He's got like a 10, doesn't he? No. No. What is it? He had a 0. Oh. He had a 0 for intelligence? It was no, like zero. Was, no, no, it was like 8. Yeah, it was like oh. 8. It was like, I know he's really dumb. If you were to add 0, you would not You would be a vegetable. <laughs> like you not necessarily. Have... No, you just be... All you could do is grunt and moan and scream and yell. It's the basis of my communication. And you'd be swing guns. And then swing at things. Not Chief Guff. You'd just be Guff. Yeah, but being smart is a Pre-Guff. Guff. <laughs> Pre-Guff. Alright, so 25 to 20. Oh, oh we're, we're rolling? rolling. Guff. Yeah, roll initiative. Roll an initiative for homeboy in the, with the many arms. <laughs> okay. I have initiative. <laughs> you have initiative? 21. <laughs> okay. Radical. <laughs> like I said, I have initiative. <laughs> yeah, because I have all the 14. You better just 19 like... to 15? Uh, 17. Damn, he's like a good problem. Mm-hmm. 
All right, 14 to 10. 14. Our demons, like, oh, nobody cares about him. But you roll? Uh, I, I think it would be. Well, in this form, not so much. He's more like a, in the endless, trying to fit the infant stages. He's trying to congeal himself into a physical form. Gotcha. Well, burn him. Freeze him. Yes. <laughs> All of the above. All of the above. How much ceiling space do I have? Uh, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> what was yours? Seven. Okay. Well, we'll just get on either side of him, and each of us do a tremor. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the whole cube down. I can cast Destructive Wave. <laughs> it shakes the ground. Okay, so top of the ground. I'd rather, rather, not, had, had rather not this cave come down on top of our heads. Right. Could you imagine? That suck. Well, everybody's standing here, so I'm not going to blow them up. Not quick enough. No. <laughs> Definitely not quick enough. So we can still move. They'd be like, uh, pull yourself together from our, everywhere around the room. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> pull yourself together, man. So I guess I'll just uh, thorn really with his ass. Alright, that spell attack. That's a uh, cantrip. Uh, wow. Action. Yeah, melee. Alright, make your spell attack. Okay. And since it's druid, it's the little one, which is six. Fifteen. It's a hit. And it does. Woohoo! One d6. Eight of damage. Oh. I can pull him closer to me, too. Does it make any kind of save Career. or no? Huh? Does it make a save or no? No, it's an attack. Okay. Find some of them yep. have, they have saved against. Uh, three. Okay. So all of a sudden, you guys just see Nick all of a sudden, his hand, you open the pulls back as this vine comes out, the cover of the thorns comes out of his hand, and he just. Wraps it around his chest. That's something that's something you guys never seen him do. That's something new. It's <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, if you, I mean, if you pull him close, we can start smacking him with. Okay. I've got. Well, we we're right there at him. We're all in man. Oh yeah, he's supposed to be closer. Oh, well, oh we'll pull I, him ten feet closer. Yeah, right there. So oh, get I mean, over here. Is he <laughs> is he held now or is it? Um, I don't no. think so. It's just, just like a one just hit. Just command and then, range. Yeah, they hit. Melee spell attack against target. The attack hits. The creature takes one d six piercing damage. And if the creature is is large or smaller, larger, or it just says large or smaller. So anything below large, you pull the creature up to ten feet closer to you. Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's still humanoid in nature. Well, that'd be the size. No. 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 Okay. Oh. So now he goes demon? Yep. Like demonic. Now he's in his demon state. I thought humanoid then, was more uh, like the, the description of a body. There's different variations though. Right. right. Like, but, oh, okay. Yeah. What are my other yeah, trips? Yeah. Because humanoid refers to being like basic human physique. Two arms, two legs. Could I shape yeah. blood like water? We need to get better. I can shape water. <laughs> We're not getting into bloodbending. Oh my god, I wit. Could the, could the freaking. Could the Avatar monk do that one? <laughs> Possibly. The elemental one? I just pull, it, just rip the blood out of someone's body. The and, chose. and then you shove it back down the road. <laughs> Go ahead and set up the spells you want on there. Because okay. I know druids have. We access have access to all, to all our spells, it's just what you have prepared. You, you, yeah. you pull the blood oh, yeah, out of someone's yeah. body and then or form it. I, chose, I know yeah. I chose the, back the thorn of the one, but it's that, a Well, that's a cantrip. Oh, that'd be uh, badass. That's a at will. So. Yeah, that's just your yeah, action, you just flip them with the little Yeah. It's not even in my cantrips. Alright, um, well, since it's not in my helmet, what is ceiling space? About 40 feet. Alright, well, I'll just cast. It's enough for me. I'll cast. No yeah, because you were supposed to pick uh, four cantrips. Yeah, well, cantrips. I did yesterday before we left, uh, but it's not here. It's me and last week. <laughs> yeah. You were here yesterday? <laughs> last week. Oops. 
Don't tell no one what you saw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't choose no. pure, yeah, so purified guess, food yeah. or anything. <coughs> you don't have to because you got good berries. You got good berries? No, so do you. You could cast good berry. Oh. You don't need food no more. Yeah, you can just yeah. make berries for me in your hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you second. get, you can do ten yeah, berries. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, I can ten. There's your cantrips these. up at the top. Bless yeah. it. Yeah. Target. Whenever the target makes a tackle, um, save and throw. For one do instantly. Yeah, those are your yeah, cantrips. Those and those don't require okay. a spell. So cards. everybody is now blessed. Yeah, they don't. They don't carry a spell slot. And but they, uh, you can do them over and over again. Can, you use it as your action. Yeah, like that's like a well, depending action. on which some, one it is. Yeah, some some, some work is bonus action. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you know, it's like okay. a whole like, movement of bonus action still. I'll, 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 I'll It's like I'll magic stone is a back bonus yeah, action. Yeah, and, no. okay. and that'll be but, it. I yeah, I'm sorry. I got him. Okay. Okay. Well, that'll be it. Choose my so everybody's now blessed. That does what? You get to roll a d4. With your d20. Oh. With your d20 whenever you make an attack or a saving oh. throw. <laughs> is, that, is that a one time thing? It's a, for one minute, so oh, okay. 10 rounds. So, yeah. so then anytime so you then roll a d20, you roll, you roll, you roll a d20. Yeah. 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 And then you add your bonuses. And then you roll right. the bonuses on top of it. So okay, it's like a so permanent inspiration for 10 rounds. Next is Irfan. I wonder what was that? Make note of that so We already got it for it. I'm gonna use my reaction to use help on him. Okay. What does that do for him again? Gives him a D4. It's oh, great. So you get two D4. Well, it's a D4 that you add to your roll. So you, when you roll your D20 for whatever you do, you add two D4 to it now. <laughs> well, two for this round. One for, for this right. round. Yeah. This right. round. Yes. So his reaction is now burnt. I just run up and smack this thing, or do I get? Uh, I'm gonna get back and should I get back near the boat? You only because have to go back one. Yeah, you only got to back 10, up. 15 feet. Two yeah. steps. Because no one's in yeah. melee with them. Yeah. One square. I just backed up so I would get smacked. And I'll back up over here. And okay. You're already blessed. And then. Oh, like Don't forget your 2D4s on top of it. Right. <laughs> and, um, just grab a random D20 out of here. Random D20. Yeah, it's gonna use that one. Oh. And two D four. Mm-hmm. Natural twenty anyway. <laughs> Roll it again. <laughs> so I still use these. You and, don't need to. And you don't need to. <laughs> well, mine goes away, so. Yeah. Oh, so 15. close. <laughs> But it's well, a crit. No, it's 15 plus no, is 4. Oh. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that's, that's, a, a, that's a crit. That was the first shot. Yeah, first shot's a crit. <laughs> that was a 6 anyway. So you know. shooting it with just an arrow? Yeah, I was, I, I, well, I was going to roll both, ta both attacks separately. Okay. Just, I was making sure I know what... what yeah, it's a bow. Okay. Uh, Eight damage. Okay. Uh, doubled sixteen. So he takes eight damage. Takes eight. Eight damage. Mm-hmm. Because it's not magical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Second attack. Oh. You only do one D four this time. Yeah. No. Oh, right. Because my help's only one time. Oh. Plus six. I have to my, twelve actually. I have to use my reaction before they attack and yeah. give it to them. But I can be thirty feet away and still do that. Yeah. Hey, shoot him in the eye. <laughs> uh, for nine damage, so he takes. I think it's I distract five. them, which gives you a D four advantage. Okay, so I'm going I think that's the way that works. Because now I now I know he's not taking his life. You see, he's not really reacting. They're just like instead. You see the arrow hit into his shoulder and his, <laughs> and the one arrow you see he shoots in his arm and kind of just sinks into him, and so the it's other kind of, one hits his side and just so absorbs kind of, in. So it's kind of like an ooze. Yeah, yeah, but it's not an ooze king. No, but no, it's but you're, gonna, you're gonna want to use uh, magic. Magic, probably. Yeah. So like, if I try to heal it, fireball does it do damage instead. You can try. So fireballs and well, I've got a sword with fire on. Can I roll so. over a legend? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Anything else for your turn? Your movement and the action are used. So, I can try healing. I can see what happens. Fuck it. I know. 
the only attack I have for... Hey, you, I, 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 35, uh, I mean, a blind attack movement? I would use one as a yeah. cantrip, because I don't think cast... Because you imagine casting two spells. <laughs> That's my moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now it is his turn. Doesn't get any design. Doesn't get that. Doesn't get that. Well, I have to go through you tell me what to cut down on him and Ryan. He don't get party wipe. Ryan. He, don't he don't doesn't get his legendary actions. He knows yeah. all of his attacks. He doesn't get his uh, madness aura. God, it's good thing. He doesn't get half of the spell casting. He still has one ability though. It probably hits like a truck. <laughs> Actually, no. All mm -hmm. everything he has is cut down to a quarter. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. He's, well, he's 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 an infant. Form. Yeah. He's not. Yeah. Like he's still forming. Form. He's still forming himself. Ugh. He didn't force his way into this world, so he's not in at full power. And so, if this if we were gonna if we were gonna catch him, this is the time to do it. I don't want to catch him. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. That's what I mean. Kill him. I don't mean to like no, capture him. Gonna catch him with his basically yeah, caught him, have him have with his to... pants down. <laughs> okay, so I'm just... gonna have to use my uh, my uh, stone can for oh, oh big you hit him? No, not big B's hand. And he's going to make his two attacks at you. I just look at him and up ugly. Because he just starts like almost like slithering on the two legs coming at you. First one of them miss. Or Eighteen? Ah, uh, that's... Okay. Beat my AC by, by one. Oh, no. That's the other thing I need to do. I need to up my AC. I need better armor, yeah. I don't know. Take 11 points of damage as he just bashes one of his, um, yeah. kind of like gangly skeletal arms against your side. Well, I could up your AC. Did you? Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, we bless it. That's right. You did the, the tinker shit. Okay. Yeah. Next yeah, but then you is Marin. Yeah, it would be just for you. Yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> okay, make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> Joey. Got this. He, he caught me as I was getting ready to draw my sword. Yeah, he just walked up with his long, long like, arms. I, just, I, was like, <laughs> I saw him moving at me. I'm like, shit. Yeah, I'm going to get my... Uh, um, I'm going to move up to flank him. I'm just going to move into flanking him. Okay. And then can I use primal savagery on myself? What does that do? It. <laughs> no! No, stop. Okay. You channel a primal magic to cause your teeth and fingernails to sharpen. Ready to deliver a corrosive attack. Corrosive. Make a melee spell attack against the creature within five feet of you. On a hit, the target takes 1d10 acid damage. And you, after you make the attack, your teeth and fingernails return to normal. Hmm. So it's a melee attack and 1d10 damage. It's a melee spell attack, just basically. Right, so yeah, it's acid damage. Yeah. And then does it do does do my One. hand wraps like affect it at all? No, no. Okay. It's, no. no. it's, it's your spell it's damage. your spell yeah. attack, which is on your spell page. I'll tell you what bonus to add to it. Up It'll top. be like at the top third box or something. Over there, the box. That oh, one. Plus seven. Yeah, so you have a plus seven towards this attack. Okay. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> this thing's already up. So ten. Uh, you gonna make a swipe, and his body kind of like. Separates past your hand, you just go right past. It's almost like you and then your nails go back. Yeah. And you how many actions do you get per turn? Is that you just get one? I get like. Cast, do it, I think the I spell counts. The no, I know. I was asking how many actions she, actions she gets per turn. Just one. one. Just one. Just one. So all anybody gets is one just action. Just one action. You but get different things. Tax if you have to. Then I have to use a bonus action. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, what can I do? To make sure it can be used as a bonus action. Yeah. Oh, what? 
Can some of these spells be used as a bonus action? Only, um... Only if they're listed. Shade. It'll say 1B, 1, 1A or 1BA by, for the oh, casting one time. So I'll go into... In the Shayla one, or whatever it's called. Shayla. It's... That's a fun... It's fun if you have a weapon, zombies, or a sheep. staff, or a club, <laughs> yeah. then you that imbues it. Yep. It has to be made up with that. Yeah. yeah. Can I use my uh, bonus action to do flurry of blows on him? Nope. No, no. Yeah. You have to land a regular melee attack to do that. Oh, I can't yeah. do. Okay, so yeah. can I just do gauge your defense? Yeah, you can use a key point and take a defensive stance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I only needed it for the tie right until we found it. Okay, then. Are you, is that all for your turn? Yeah. Back around to Nick. Nothing got up in my face like I wanted to be. I'm going to do my, uh, the, um, Wizard cantrip stone. Okay. And uh, it's already got Toll the Dead on it, so. Alright, she's gonna I'll do Toll the Dead. The dead. So, what's it save? Oh, it's my uh, wizard save, which was the 18. Okay. Nice. It's a decently high DC. <laughs> That's only on my wizard right. cantrip. 13 right. 13 doesn't save. Nice. Okay. And that was a D10? D12. Or D12, yeah. See, so already took damage. Yep. yep. Eleven. Oh, okay. Nice. So all of a sudden, you guys hear this bell sound through the air. Is he's you see his skin just start like moving and shifting. It's like music to my ears. And then my bonus action. I think it doesn't even require an action to do. Healing word. Was no. My made. My was it my nature? No, that's the word I just used. <coughs> Spellsmith. Oh no, that takes a minute. It's a ten rounds. Yeah, I can't do the spell smith. It takes a minute to do. So no, I'm done. Okay. Next is mix wick. Yay. Mix wick is up. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna cast call in here before the bubble. Yeah. All, All right. right. Where are you gonna have it hit? I'm gonna have it. it well, at first it says everything within a five foot radius of that point. So is it just that one block, or is it every five foot square outside of that? Everything within a five foot radius? Yeah. Just so they're in range of it then? Oh, yeah. never mind, I can't do that. So you guys are like say for a second. Um I guess I'll just be totally dead this well. Okay. How's your save? Seventeen. <laughs> so you what else spells have you used so far? No, it's not a succeed. I just used a power. Sweet, so I get two just well. one. Okay, so you got one spell slot left. These are spells. Yeah. Okay. Until we rest. Okay. But the cantrip ones, the ones up top, which you should have oh, four yeah, there. You only have three. You I should have four. four. It's a cantrip. Oh, it is? Oh, okay, so you didn't use a spell slot. But... Eight. Okay, same thing. Bells start tolling. You should have four. The shift, the skins are shifting a little bit less this time. Yeah. Anything else for your turn? So I'm moving Those are ones we can't change. You know, once you pick them, you got them. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. He's going to make his next attacks against Irvon. I don't know if I should try to heal out without it. Oh, no, Irvon's next. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I was before him. Yeah, you were before that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, too. so I will it, take. That was back in. Two uh, shots. Oh, well, not shots. Two or three. Swing, oh, okay. sword, like, it, it would be a long sword. It, it would okay. hurt him if he yeah. healed him. It sounds pretty well. But they changed it. Let's yeah. make them all together this time. All right. Does seem a little overpowered because I could just cast. Uh, the first, uh, that one. Uh, four, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That each cast like a big this. heal, right? Where it does well, like seven big heals, yeah. and, and, and most of the heals are AOE, the healing okay. word or whatever. Or fourteen, twenty. That's a hit. Natural. Cast root doesn't rely on it. Dies immediately. It's like a hit at least. That's a good call the gas. I know. Ooh, damn, that's DC is fire. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, since I'm using a two hand, I'm going to do ten. That's eleven plus fifteen damage. Okay. You see the slash kind of scorches and kind of bubbles as your sword passes across its chest. Oh, it's kind of like, 
and it's looking more intently at you. Yeah, I know, I'm just, and I just look at it. And you can see, look at it, there's like the spark of it trying to awaken something inside of itself, but it can't quite get it there. Okay, anything else for your turn? Nope. Okay, now he's going to make his swing to you. Hit the miss. Uh, 19? That's a hit. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's good. Eleven points. And he just clubs you right across the shoulder with his arm. <laughs> and next is Marin. I saw a spell. So. Not Ray of Frost, right? <laughs> Frostbite, you. Cause numbing frost to form on one creature that you see within okay. range. The target must target. make a constitution saving throw. A single target. If it fails to save, the target takes 1d6 cold damage, and it has disadvantage on the next weapon attack roll it makes. Okay. But it's not really using a weapon either. It's unarmed. Technically. Technically, but Technically unarmed with multi arms. Yeah. Yeah. It's armed, but. With arms. Yeah, it's basically armed with arms. Like, yeah. <laughs> so it's not even worth casting. Up well, to you. Um, Wing it. Who cares? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, you'll learn. I'm going to chill it out then. Okay. What's the save? <laughs> chill out, demon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Is it going off the spell or is it going off of me? It'll go off you. It'll go off of you. So what one? Your spell uh, save DC. It'll be on your spell spell right here. Um, spell save 15. DC. And what's Constitution? Constitution, yeah. Nice. That's an 8. Does not save. Mm, cool. So what happens? 1 6 so cold damage. You get cold damage and it gets... Yeah, yeah, it has... And it has disadvantage on its next weapon attack roll. Oh, okay. Okay, two points. Nice. Now I don't have to bang him. Well, you might still want to. Yeah. Just nice not this turn. Then you might have double disadvantage. <laughs> a D twenty minus five. A D twenty minus five, absolutely. <laughs> okay. And six, and and, and is it <laughs> Um. So that's my action. Yep. Okay. Uh, right. Bonus action. I. I mean, wait. I'm not. It it makes, I'm not going to do anything. Because we're probably going to check okay. it again. Anyway. Back around to Nick. There was what? Actually, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move this direction. No, that's what. That's what towards us. Yeah. Yeah, I got a laser pointer. I was gonna move over this way, thirty feet. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna whip his ass. Whip it good. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Nineteen. That's a hit. Okay. That's a measly one d six for four. Okay. And I'm gonna pull him ten feet towards me. All right. So that triggers. Being, I'll say we both two attacks him. of opportunity. Does it? Yeah. Well, he's he's moving out of. of he's moving out of melee. Yeah, oh, so they. Yeah, we get oh, okay. attacks yeah. of opportunity. Okay. So I still added d four to that. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was making watch. sure they wasn't That's true. giving no. him. No. No. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Good thing I rolled a d4 with that, because that's a... That's a that's 13. A oh, it was a 1? With the, with the d4 with it's, it's, it's still a 1. It's still a 1. Better not roll another 1 after that. Oh, God. That's cocked. That was a 14 anyway. That was a 13. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, uh, so you didn't shoot so straight I, across the front of you. No, no, you no, swung your sword and swung and missed, missed entirely. Uh, um, he got I out of my range before 13. I could hit him. That's a miss. Oh, okay. What'd you roll? 13. Oh, okay. That was your total with all your pluses? Yeah. Okay. Did, Did you roll a d4? Wow. Roll a d4. Yeah, you got a d4 on top of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so roll a d4. Yeah, roll a d4. Yeah, roll one like I did. Yeah. No, no just one d4. Oh, just, just a d4. Just a d4. Oh, yeah. Two. So, so 15. 15. That's a hit. That hit. That means no, AC. That hit. There you go. 
Okay, so I'm going to. Well, it was just a physical attack. Yeah, just a, yeah. yeah just it's a not not attack of opportunity. It's punching him. So a d6. Yeah, yeah so you roll your damage. Five. Plus, plus. Oh, your pluses for your hand wraps and everything. Yep. Plus eight. Or, yeah. That's well, she did anyways. Her attack bonus was higher. Oh, uh, yeah, it was, plus, it was plus eight. She was thinking her... her oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're rolling oh, yeah. Yeah. Roll. yeah, you're rolling no, no, no. as a weapon attack. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so you hit him. So you roll your damage plus your wraps and everything plus else. Plus four. So Do the damage for your uh, wraps too or no? Yeah, so roll D6 plus oh, four. Then I roll another D6. Yeah. Two. For a total of. Two. Okay, so it's five plus four plus two. So 11. Another damage. Nice. So, you know, your sword misses. Marin looks at his whack right across the side <laughs> as he's getting yanked backwards. Just a back fist <laughs> across his chest. Okay. Mm-hmm. And mix is that all for you or? Um, well, that was an action. But this thing just feels like we're man. toying with it at this point. Just hanging from everywhere. We all have matches. Yeah, I don't think there's any. No, in some form, I mean, I have a magic weapon and wands, but in a in a, in a, few, in a small yeah. handful of spells. Yeah, bonus actions are. But anything that feels or buffs so any any okay. uh, offensive magic I have is in the form of a physical gonna, weapon, uh, like the one I'm going my sword <laughs> to him. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm gonna cast some flick wounds at the fourth level. All right. Is there a save on that? No, I have to make a melee spell attack at him. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I thought it was clear so you could lightning as No, it? because then because then I can keep it going and yeah. then I waste a spell slot, so yeah. for the next round. So I'll just do this. Is that cut or is that is that just the shape of the um, <laughs> No, because like look oh, it's, it's laying sitting, it's laying flat in there, but it's that's just the shape of the way the light's hitting it. So it's a seventeen? <laughs> that's a hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sweet. If it's a 17, you never say, is that caught? No, I just tell us the way the light was hitting. Like, no, like, like for real, like the way that the dice is, it's angled. <laughs> the way the dice is angled, no, the light is like, what the fuck? It's like the shadow, it's because Ugh, all right, so. It's that die. I'm trying to make you think it was caught, so you'd roll a one. <laughs> and, I, and I wouldn't yeah. be able to honestly take take a roll that was caught, even if it was a 60 to 10. 20. I would still take it. Oh, 60 10? I wouldn't say it was caught. <laughs> I. My conscience wouldn't let me do that. I don't have a conscience. So that's Chaotic good cheating. What was that? Chaotic cheating. Chaotic cheating. I'm a rogue. Yeah. <laughs> Chaotic cheating. Absolutely. Well, right now, I'm a demon prince, so I really don't have a conscience. I'm a cleric. <laughs> I can't. I have to be. I'm a rogue. <laughs> they could be teetering, and I'd be like, oh, that's a 20. <laughs> and just barely balancing on the tip of the die. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Happened on the side of the box. Point, point, and then it rolls to a one. 20, 20, 20. <laughs> no, it was caught. Oh. Roll your six d ten. Ooh, I see a fat seventy. I see a, a zero. Ten. Six d ten. Seventeen. Jesus. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-seven. Thirty. He's really only like you now. Thirty-three. Oh. He's really only like you. You walk. You just. Grab into him, and these green, the green necrotic lines start pouring from your hands into him. You hear him start <laughs> screaming and reeling in pain. Yeah, and grabbing, and two of his hands are grabbing at the uh, vine whip around his neck as he's trying to like push your hands away with the other two. Yeah, no, good luck. I ain't going nowhere. And boy. <laughs> okay, anything else for your turn? Uh, is, uh, is anybody taking damage? Yeah. He has. Yeah. He's even clubbed over the head with his arm. All right. Bonus action. Healing word. Oh. Um, I mean, I'm still at 64 HP. So. Whatever, dude. I don't want to risk it. Setting up so you can read your character sheet? Yeah, that the other one, the one for the bow is in that tiny oh, writing yeah. again. Oh, I'm yeah. Well, because it. it tries to fit all the text in the. And it won't let me adjust the size. Because it tries to fit it in the little box. In one line. Yeah. 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 And I cannot read that. Second level. <laughs> okay. So it's 2d4 plus 5. That you're wrong back here. And then, uh, 8 so. plus 5. I'm going to make it so I can read it. Uh, yeah. So 13, you get 13 back. Sweet. Okay. And now I'm done. Okay. That's everything. Roll two fours. After you see Mix, we kind of look you and nod. You feel this healing energy through your Some of your bruises go away from being beaten over the head. I just look over and nod. All right, you're up. Just kind of like coughed that in. 
listing different damage than what the cantrip says. It came up as one of my weapons. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. It comes up as 2d6 instead of 1d6. Maybe it's just 1d6 for the first time you use it, and after that 2d6 you can whip them again? I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe it's two different things. Talking about two different things? I don't oh. know. I'll look into it. We're done. Maybe that's an actual thorn whip. You know, uh, yeah, Indiana Jones. Yeah. Da, da, da. Da, da. Oh. So I'm going to go up to the demon, like walk above it, punch him in the dome, and I'm going to use primal savagery to smash right. and dash. Make your spell attack. So I do. I do both of these, right? You have the um, D4 and the D20. Mm -hmm. Then you add your spell attack bonus. So 15 plus spell attack. That's probably gonna hit. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, your you, your roll 22. was AC. So yeah, roll damage. Yeah. Roll damage with. To make him my enemy, is that a bonus action, or? But then you just have to say the command word. Yeah, it's just a free say the action word to do it. Shoot him. Oh, yeah. One d six for him. Or. <laughs> he's off. He's off. He's off fighting us, and then all of a sudden he just gets. <laughs> right in the back. <laughs> Yeah. And it makes that noise. Dink, dink, dink. With each shot. Right. I'm, I'm thinking more of the sounds like cross bows and Skyrim. Yeah. Oh, I was oh, thinking so Cupid from Spike. No, 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 no. I was thinking the sound of a real crossbow. It's 2D10. 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 Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a rifle, but with an arrow. But a bolt. But yeah, you did it. 2D10. Yep. Can I have to hit something? Probably because of like the end game. These are not too bad. Much better with the press. That's a two. That's a two. And an eight. So ten. Ten damage? Cool. Okay. And upon a hit, he takes one D10 of acid damage. Okay. So it's a two. You rolled. That was the damage you just rolled, right? 
Okay, so it says at will, 2d10 damage. I think one, yeah, there, it's, I think it's included in that? Yeah. So I mean 1d10, right, physical 1d10. Oh, acid. Acid. It was 2d10 you rolled, right? Yep. yep. So what was the damage on that? Uh, 10. On both? Okay. Between both? No, yeah, between both. And after I run with the bathroom away from the next turn. Sorry. I can't hold it anymore. Well, we're past break time. Yeah. Yeah, this is all right. Yeah, when we're done yeah. with the fight, we're in the middle of the fight. Yeah. So. <laughs> Gotta get big into that tooth break. Right? It's probably gonna end right after I cast this spell. Mm. No, it's gonna end after I shoot this guy in the back of the head. Probably. You guys are gonna see the arrow pop out from his face as he's looking at cross side. <laughs> like, he falls over. Like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I have two of them too. No, because I think I have enough. I have to roll because I have to roll six. Well, you got twelve in front of you. Yeah? No, I need three D four, two D six, six times. I have four enough for four. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll these, and then roll the other two. And boy, is it going to hurt. Right? I'm right after you, so if you okay. don't... And back to Nick. You don't count. Yeah. Back to you, Bob. Pull up. Crossbow. Say, death to my enemy. All right, so he's... Human back of the head. He is now your sworn enemy. <laughs> What'd you roll? <laughs> what do you roll? <laughs> you, are, you are blessed. But it's why still, I just threw four it's, in there. It's still... Is it a two? That was a, that was a two base. Oh. I rolled a two, and then I rolled another two. It's my sworn <laughs> enemy. Doing, doing. <laughs> <laughs> you crossbow bow malfunction. <laughs> he misfired. No, he tried firing a side. First, first, first time like, trying to shoot it. Shot your own. Shot a side. Doing. <laughs> 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 the arrow fell out before the ball went off. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> that's poultry you see. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I've never used one of those before, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it's done. <laughs> Apparently. Anything else you're doing for your turn? Yeah. Just appear in shame. Knock another bolt in the crossbow and disappear. 22. Well, you're it's all good for that. <laughs> Disappeared in shame. <laughs> he is now the invisible shame. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so now it's Big Swig's turn. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm gonna cast Poly Blades. Okay. Uh, one cast. I create six special flaming daggers. Uh, I can direct them up to six different. Targets or one. Okay. Does 3d4 plus 4 fire and then 2d6 force per dagger. So. Okay. Yeah, here we go. That's gonna be fun. Let's I have go. enough for four rolls and then I gotta do two more. Okay. God, I wanna do all this at once. Do it up. You're gonna want to burn big spells, so. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Holy shit. It's gonna be fun. This is only four. I still need two more after this. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be big enough. <laughs> All right. Damn, let's see three threes in a row. On There's the three sixes over here. <laughs> He's got three sixes already. I got a bunch of ones that all up. Uh, I was got... looking at those, that line of fours. It's three, three, three. I see this as a blade barrage. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Absolutely. <laughs> that, was, that was a blade barrage. Super. So we don't need super. to create that spell. <laughs> no, it's here. It's volley blades. Yeah. Fifth level, and boy, does it hurt. Volley right. blades, blade barrage, same thing. Three D four plus five. Except for it's about 15 blades. Oh, trim cat at high level would be more of them. Fifth level, 15 blades. No, it is fifth level. Oh, the six yeah. blades is fifth level. Yeah. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, I was just thinking, like, damn, that spell already exists. <laughs> oh, that's one less I has to be created? Well, I might come up with an alter for alter Smirk or Mirage. No, he's not my ranger. <laughs> not my ranger. <laughs> my ranger in Guild Wars 2 would yeah. decimate hordes. Yeah, no, you were I did totally. like, do the same thing. Yeah. But my favorite was the uh, sniper shot. Oh, yeah, Evan Vanguard sniper shot? Yeah, because you shoot him and then you want it to pop up and say one shot, one kill. It's an instant yeah. kill. Yeah, as any enemy, you hit that, if you got that 1% chance, drops him on the spot. I was higher than 1%. It was not very high, though. It was like 6%. Yeah. Something like that. Depending on your Vanguard, though. Mine was maxed. So was mine. I remember the first time I used that skill and you saw it, you're like, what the f is that? <laughs> that was a sniper support. I'm like, where do you get that? <laughs> that was the only time he grinded other than the Sun Spears to get his um, ranking up with the no, faction. No, grinding was to get the freaking Frost uh, Oh, sword. the Nor Oh, yeah. Ugh. The Icy Dragon Sword? Yeah. That was a grind. That was a, over a year grind. Yeah. yeah. He decided to grind over a year for one sword. Well, that's what it took to get it, because yeah. you've got a 1% chance of it dropping. There's one creature that drops, it. that drops it. And it's a hell of a fight to get to that creature. Jesus. And it's a hell of a fight to kill the creature. Because you're over half dead when you get there from yeah. the fight to get to them. And, oh, it was so hard. And I couldn't, and I couldn't use my 55 monk up there, because yeah. they cast magic. And... Oh! What? What's the total? 165! Oh. 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 How do you want to do this? It doesn't. He turns to ash. I mean, that's how you do the spell. Uh, I'm just gonna summon the blades. So you see him all just kind gonna... of skip back and just whoosh! And the blades just do 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 I imagine that all the blades just come out and yeah. pause and then <laughs> and so he just nah, throws them out. They've, they've all got that so small little like rotation to them. <laughs> And they just stick him start dead. You see a piece of scattering and splattering all over the place. They start turning to ash. Yeah, you want to see all my math? Damn! Fucking suck, dude. Never casting that spell okay. again. <laughs> okay. This that was, round. Right? <laughs> That's the end of combat. Yep. Oh, okay. He died. He did more damage than yeah. the thing had health. Yep. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Yes! <laughs> Level spells. <laughs> Did anything drop from him? There's a small pot, a little like blob that's slowly dissolving and shriveling. No, I mean, did anything drop from him? Did he have no, anything? No, yeah, I, 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 I doubt he would have had anything. Yeah, fuck, naked looking like well, that. <laughs> I'm going to plop down right here and take a rest. Same. I only <laughs> get one of those. <laughs> and we will take our break. No. Yep, that's where we're going to take our break. <laughs> After an epic spell that I didn't even know existed. Yep, it's a lot of fun. A lot of math. It's very satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> That's a blade barrage for you. <laughs> That's exactly.
Fritz. Close well, well, You're that's, up. That's, I didn't know how much HP he had, and I was like, well, I don't want to not turn him to Ash, because that just sounds all right, like folks, a bad idea. We are back as we all got our, you know, we all had a nice little break, got some food, discussed um, mixed with nuking the, pre- the infantile state <laughs> the of the demon. <laughs> Might as well have been. I'm thinking Gambit. Yeah. yeah. Kind of reminds me of one of the fallen. Now, after he nukes one of the demon princes in its infantile stages, is trying to reform and gain its true physical form. Yeah, I don't want that. The party decides to sit down and rest as this little orb is still pulsing and slowly shriveling. Um. I need to roll a religion check. No. What is it? It's what's left of him slowly dissipating and dissolving into his own plane. Oh, so it's his own. Oh, okay. okay. Thermos is going to look at you go. So next time we encounter another demon prince, you're up. Okay. <laughs> I only get one shot. Does that? Does that add? I only get one shot, and I didn't know how, much, how like strong he was. So like. uh, well, <laughs> you can count on the other. You can count on the other princes being stronger than that, probably. So. They'll laugh at you when you do that. Mm. They have like nine hundred health, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they all have around three hundred. So that's like a third. That was like a. Over a third, of, almost half their health right there. That was more than half. Yeah. Yeah. half. So yeah, you're gonna. You, then they'll just be, you know, pissed off at you and want to smack, you want to squish you into oblivion. Yeah. <clears throat> but but that's what you guys are for. But right, exactly. Like meat we'll it's whatever. I blessed you all. I did my part. Yeah, you have, <laughs> I gotta figure out how to shoot this thing. <laughs> He's looking right at me down the barrel with his thumb on the trigger, like. Ah. Nick, Is there a hole loaded in it? Good. Yeah, I think it's loaded. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> no, I just gotta pick up the bolt off the floor. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, well, I gotta figure out how to use this thing now. Do I have to do anything with the glowing mass, or it's eventually just gonna go away? It's gonna disappear. Okay. Let's put this in a jar and just hold on to it for a minute. Until it disappears. Until it disappears. He's suspicious of the dying demon? I'm always suspicious of demons. It's not like doors. You can't the trust them. <laughs> See, with the remains of a demon prince in a jar and a vial of lizard blood. Yep. Well, demon lizard blood. Demon lizard. There was enough black goo to make a count. Black goo is what turned he turned it turned into him. Oh well. Oh, so what you just captured was the actual demon blood, then probably. It was just sort of holding it in a jar, like a space wizard. <laughs> I need you. Yes, what do you want? I, have I was the, eating. I have the thing. What, what does it look like? It looks like a glowing, is it a glowing orb. No, it's just this black mass of like sludge that slowly just. Yeah, I got a black mass of sludge that's slowly disappearing. Well, is, is it excreting any fluids? Uh, is it? No. no. It's in a jar. It's in a jar. You might want to stab it then. Okay. You're up, Stabby. <laughs> well, you got a, you have a dagger? Nope. Take my dagger and weapons. poke it. <laughs> you stick it in the little... <laughs> Alright, now it's, uh, it's doing its thing. Okay, yeah. that part should stay. The rest will just go away. Okay, so yeah. uh, cap it and just let it fill itself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <So> he... <laughs> I love how he and had he... to give us step-by-step instructions. Oh, what did you expect? <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm getting back to my research. You Sweet. sound a lot more intense now than usual. He was reading a book. Or he was in the bathroom. He was eating his food. He was eating. Okay. And doing research. That's understandable. Is I'm food aggressive. Nope, he's probably researching his food. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Thank you very much. I was researching what you fools are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. I mean, he's not wrong. We are fools. Now, if you don't mind, I'm getting back to what I was doing. I need to listen. So now, now what do we do? Continue to find our way to the engine. Continue moving forward. That's is there anything in this room at all? Let me go back to the page. How'd you win? Uh, no, I already took one. Let's put it. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, uh-huh. there we go. It's a long Seven. ass nap. So, yeah, from the ch- main chamber you guys are in, there's each of the corners, there's a path to go down. You, you guys came here, off to the side to the left, there's a path that goes. Just past that, there's another chamber, and then it kind of circles around, looks like uh, to the side, to the right. So, how many paths in total? One, two, three, five different paths. Um, uh, let's take the middle one. Middlest. I'm not taking the middle one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we don't the take the middle one. The gods have spoken. <laughs> you all Center heard it. left. <laughs> it doesn't get old. <clears throat> let's 
the other one on the bus, right? Except one. Well, no, because we're in one, right? So there's. Oh, you guys are in the main chamber. Oh, okay. Then... Not counting the way you guys came from. There's one, two, three, four, and then five. I vote for five. Five sounds good. Okay. I rolled a six. Take <laughs> one away because of where it came in on one of them. Yeah. So that would be the fifth one. Yeah. Yeah, as you guys are walking down into that room, it's pretty open. And you, across the room, over in the corner, it, it's, you know, you start walking in, you see in the corner there's this pit. On either side, there's paths that branch around. Well, conscious of this pit. Anything in the pit? Yeah, actually, you see down in there, there's two drow that are pretty beaten and bloody. Oh. And four dwarves with shields. Well, we should probably help these people. Yeah, these are our buddies. Okay. They might not be our buddies. <laughs> I'll jump down there. The, the dwarves are down there. The, the drowge kind of look you with disgust. The dwarves are like, oh, finally someone come to help. What's up? Oh, and that well, you guys. <laughs> yeah, so Not me. How, how, do you, how, how deep, deep is, is it? it? I jumped down. About 10 feet. I got rope. Uh, I'll jump down. I got rope. Oh. And the curb on the edge just doesn't slide down in, no problem. No. I got feather fall, so I just yeah. jumped down. Can I do a flip? Roll in acrobatics. Remember what happened on the roof? Nine, acrobatics, which is four, thirteen. You have a bit of, you dance you a front flip, you have a bit of a slippery landing, your feet kind of slide out into the soft dirt, but you didn't face plant this time. Nailed it. <laughs> hey, you stuck the landing this time. And not with her face. <laughs> Alright, who's injured? None of us, really. Just been stuck out here this stealthy drow. <laughs> well, there were more of us and a couple more of them, but they, I'm guessing, became Filthy dinner. Drow. Dinner for what? They just look like elves to me. Not this elf. Should we beat them and just let them go, or what? We have these two heroes yeah. faces. Plus, we can oh, we use forgot that. to we forgot to use it. We didn't need it. <laughs> 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 now these now these things two uses and then done. No, it recharges every day. Okay. Every day. Yeah, yeah. Every day. We forgot to have one when we started out. Yeah, we've got two. Yeah. I've got one. Well, we're supposed to have one in, you know, in the each morning. day. We're supposed to eat one in the morning. We'll, well get yeah. up, and we didn't. Well, we didn't. well so let's eat it now. It we're, all, we're, 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 we're also kind of in the underdark. So. Ten. It yeah. feeds ten. And there's ten. eight down in the pit, so there's twelve. So we need to use it twice, but whatever. No, six. Six, six captive, two drow, four dwarves. Six uh, oh, so that's oh. ten total. Oh, okay. yeah. So just cast a hero's feast, let's do it. Yeah, cast a hero's feast. Okay, so I'll take one of the or one of the stones out and use it to cast hero's, hero's feast. Just throw, just throw it down in the pit, or no. no. helping everybody out first? No, we'll <laughs> have a feast in the pit. Nah, I mean, nah, they've probably been eating and shit down here, so they yeah. should probably just like... Yeah. Cast, do you want to just cast part. a rainstorm real quick while everyone's climbing out of the pit? Get a good, like, wash down real quick? <laughs> <laughs> you think... You think you think, uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll oh, do you're it. just casting a rainstorm as they're climbing out? Yeah, I've got rope. There's rope. I'm... Wait, how, how high can I jump? You're gonna get clean. Don't worry. Or are they gonna fall back down into the muck? That's what the rope oh. is for! <laughs> Everyone's using the rope. Roll athletics with advantage. <laughs> if you're not, then just make a straight roll. Hold the rope. Dumbasses. Athletics, you said with advantage? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a 19. Oh, it's Okay, so you made it. 18. So, the drow are the only two that didn't make it because they didn't think they would need it. They're just sort of slipping and falling on their faces in the mud. Grab the rope. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> do, you, do you want help? They just kind of look at you and, you know, it's like, one of them grabs the rope, pulls up, the other one just, like, you know, I'm going to keep trying to do this. Don't give I'm going to keep, I'm I'm gonna keep it going until it floods. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay, eventually he pulls up, he's like, wait, a treading water, he grabs her, pulls himself out. <laughs> Had to flood like, a little bit, the buoyancy help you out? Yes. Proud of you. <laughs> Eat your food and get good the fuck boy. out of here. Good boy! did such a good job! <laughs> Nobody ever said drow were smart. <laughs> no, apparently not. Cancel no, but we're better looking. Cancel the storm. Ooh! What? Yeah, I agree, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. He's got you. Bird! He's got you, he's got you in a box. <laughs> he's got you there. He's got me. I can just shoot him from that. Of course, I'm way better looking than any drow. Oh, don't need feed him and kill all of them. He's going to kill him, so shoot him. Yeah, I didn't say it was going to kill him. I just said I was going to put another hole in him. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right. As long as I don't see that, I'll just kill it out. Like, 
And so you guys all sit down, eat your feast. So the drow take off and just walk away. Go, go somewhere. The dwarves are like, so we owe, you guys are, we owe you guys our lives. Yeah? Yeah. Neat. I want it. We are not for sale or to be owned. I can cash in on that. <laughs> I, oh, I think she's going to play with your age. <laughs> Good twirl in the dagger. I can cash in on that. No. The dwarves are like, dwarves are like, no offense, but... No. Oh. One of them was like, yes, you don't have the requirements of stroking his beard. You don't have a beard. <laughs> One of them like, yeah, gotta have a beard, something to hang on to. Oh, no. But you can't, you don't know that. Yes, we do. <laughs> You're gonna try to lie to them when you don't have a beard? I'm covering my hands. Oh, you she's covering your face. You don't know. You don't know that. We just <laughs> saw you without your hands. Your face. <laughs> Could you imagine if like I'm an illusionist? Though, and then she was like speaking. I like, can make a ball. Where's your beard? <laughs> it's magic. I can grab some of my hair from around my hand, have it come through my fingers. Shit, and my I can <laughs> think, think it was beard. <laughs> I have short hair. We've been down here long enough that I'm sure I have facial hair right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Probably. Everyone's got a beard except me. Yeah, that's why everybody's grown. And him. Beard. Elves don't grow facial hair. Nope. Yeah. Half elves might. But, mm, yeah, maybe. Depends. We're a baby face game. So then the four doors leave. like, so <laughs> are we staying with you or, we move, or do you want us to go? You can do it. Depends okay. on if you want to live or not. Yeah, because we're Because where we're going, you'll die. You'll die. I can't promise your safety for the rest of this. This is pretty now, I, they, side trip. I don't want you to die. As they all sit there, kind of go all look off the side and sit there and discuss it. Mm-hmm. Of course, they guess. I don't know if they'd be good at the uh, drinking game. Uh, introduce them to the drinking game. If <laughs> they survive this, <laughs> <laughs> they come back over and say, like, "Well, three out of four of us want a pair." And they all kind of look at the one side and like, "What? I'm allergic to dying." He's allergic to dying. That's so then the way. three of you can come with us and risk your lives and he can go home to safety. Alone. And the one that was like, no, we stay together. Our unit has always stayed together. Okay. Well, it's up to you guys, because I can say it's pretty much certain death, because we are going after the maze engine. They kind of all look at each other. We're in. Even the one that ends like. <laughs> <laughs> remember, we're going to be legends by the end. I will remember. We don't care about that. I will remember to bless all We want to see the construction behind it. They want to build uh, it again. <laughs> no, we just want to see the construction of the room and everything that's on. Nice. And the gems that are. Gems in yeah. <laughs> Big gems. It's said that there's gems the size of, well, a half orc's head. Well, if you can carry that one, if. Oh, dwarves. We carry it bigger. No, I know. I'm just, yep, yep. I'm just saying. They'll carry the whole freaking engine out. I don't out. want them to have a moral, like, oh, should I take this gem? No, there's, the one's like, oh, no, no, there's no moral dilemma. It's gems, it's crafting, we're good to go. Oh, fucking no, dude, they could have been, like, crazy. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> well, they are kind of crazy. I, know, they I mean, they're going to make it. They're, 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 they're crazy. Alrighty, so. Lead the way. Yeah, so you guys have the way you came in, and then the two splits. One facing where you guys play, you have one that goes this way and the one that goes down this way. Let's go down. Left and right. I said down. I said left. Okay. Yeah. Whichever's odd. Oh, wait, even. So I rolled odd. Oh, wow. I rolled even. You're the. You're the. You're the tiebreaker. Two evens, one odd. Two three evens. So, three odd. So. Even one. Steven. Okay, so you guys are going to the right? Yeah. I said left. Yeah. I said left. Oh, you guys are all rolling? <laughs> Which way were you wanting to go with your roll? No, I said whichever was even. Oh. Whichever was odd. I didn't Because you said even. I said evens are odds left or right. So evens yeah. is left, odd is right. So, so I said left. So then we throw the one left. left. Okay. I'll tell the river you guys are going to then. So we're going to the left. Yes, okay. to the left. <laughs> yeah. Because this is my left, so we're going that way. Yep, to the left. You guys go walking in. There's what seems to be what was like a troglodyte camp set up in here. Mm. A few makeshift shelters propped up against the walls. You know, what looks like it was a fire pit with a pot of something hanging over it. Oh, we by now. Mm, yeah, but I want to check. I want to search the area to see if there's right. anything. 
Uh, Roll investigation. Same. Uh, Involve investigation. Give me a 20. Uh, Close enough. 14. 19. 10. 17. 14, 17, 19, and what? 25. <laughs> I rolled a four and 2, I have a six investigation. It's over 9,000. I don't think I've been adding my investigation. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Anytime you make okay. any sort of skill check, you gotta yeah. look at that list. You guys are digging through. You guys all come to the same point. You find this box that's buried under rubble. Mm. And it's about that tall, about that wide. A good, you know, couple feet long. Is it locked? No. Is it trapped? Make an investigation. Is it? <laughs> yes, is it? As I put my hand Natural. On it. Nope, not trapped. Sweet. It looks like actually it was trapped at one point. But they probably. So but it got triggered. They probably set it off. <laughs> so open it slowly. As the light shines. Right? Oh. You open it up and there's this cloth wrapping. You can see it's the outline of a sword. The outline of it? So, so yeah, it's red, the cloth wrapped around it. Oh, okay. So we reach in sword in a box. Can we unwrap the sword in oh, yeah. without picking it up just yet? Yeah, you can flip the cloth. Looking at it, you see on the sheet there's these sp- the spider web design. You know, the blade kind of comes up. Drown yeah. sword. And the guard itself is shaped like a spider with its legs coming out towards the blade. And it has a series of... A tiny g- has eight tiny gems set on each side of the guard where the spider is for the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna have you identify that before any of us touch it. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I don't wanna be. I don't wanna accidentally wanna. I wanna can just... dispel magic. Okay, <laughs> I don't wanna accidentally be bound. Well, I wind up bound to an evil sword or something. Oh no, detect. Why not? It's a good time. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. your other character thought so too. With the exactly. sword that came out of his arm. Exactly. It was awesome. I mean. In my head, just visualizing it was beast. Oh, so good. Like it's, your arm splits and black tendrils Could come out of your arm. Depends on the trap. Depends on the trap. You can probably. Just you know, take the sword, close the box, just, and just just they lay it out. Somebody, somebody <laughs> think he's on arm, just like, Do it. Then they set it off again. Do it. And there's no sword. Okay. Leave them one. a note. Right, yeah, the sword. The sword itself is, is a plus two long sword, but that's not what really catches your attention. It's the eyes. You, when you, cast, when you detect, um, I didn't make you see all the eyes are connected into one gem made inside of it. There's no spell stored in it currently. Oh, it can store spells. It can store one spell. What? what? They can be used I, one time before a, store, a spell has to be stored. I uh, it has to be. I'm, wait, I'm sorry. It has to be used one time before the spell can be stored. Is that what you just said? Well, you have to. You know, when you use it, you can store a spell inside the gem. There's right. No okay. spell stored in it right now. So when you, once you've attuned to the blade, then you, you can, can store, store a spell. spell. Like you can sp- uh, store one of your spells in it for somebody else. To right? Use. No, no, no. Is there is there a maximum level of spell that it can hold, or so, it does, but it, so does it have to be the person that's attuned to it? That, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, no, we don't need that attuned into the sword. It's already we bad enough. We do. <laughs> Why not? You just attune it into the blade and just. <laughs> so, so, so then we can both cast it. Yeah. Yeah. With with two hits. Double damage. Yeah, exactly. So that you, you can hit it and I'll be like, hey. <laughs> as, far like that, that one for you. as far as it says, there's no max level for this spell. So you can put a ninth level spell on that sucker. Oh, oh. uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to the description right now and... Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm just I wonder to... I wonder if like different gemstones have spell levels or something, or is it not that in depth? It depends on the quality well, of the gem. gem. Yeah, the quality. Because there's regular quality, and then there's magic quality. And with that, there's different tiers of it for how durable the spell is and how much it can store. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, so this sword would be worth a ton of money. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm not even and there's an about engraving. The, I'm not even thinking about the money value. I'm thinking about using it. I'm thinking well, about the two, money value. It's a two, lo- plus two, two long, long sword. sword. Yeah, I'll, I'll use it. I'll there's there's also an engraving on the blade. Okay. okay. This is... My sword only has a plus six. I mean, you plus eight. Is it what language is that? I don't know. Roll an intelligence check. Hey, smarty pants, what language is this? Oh, I Just kidding, I don't need you. Uh, you said <laughs> intelligence? 17? It's an elven. It's an uh, hey, elvish boy, I need you. <laughs> it's in what? Yeah. It's an elven. It's an, el- it's an elvish? Yeah. I'll pick it up Looking and look at, at the blade, it. <laughs> it says, darkness be praised. Darkness be praised? I don't think that's a sword you can wield. 
Maybe. Who knows? I got 20 gods in my backpack. I That's probably win just about anything. There's no, there's no, no item requirement for it. <laughs> I mean, sword praising. It looks like a drow sword. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a drow craft, craft item. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna take it. I don't fucking want it. <laughs> yeah, but you can store a spell in it. Right. No, no, no. Because store... he uses a sword. Right. No, no, no. I know. But, well, so, but does it have to be the wielder of the sword that, that no. stores the spell? No. No. I can okay. put it. I can put a spell in that gemstone. That then... But you can only use that spell one time, and there's no spell in there. Right. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a one-time use, and then you have yeah. to store another spell. How long does it store a spell for indefinitely? Or? Until, Until it's used. Until but when you use the used. spell, you roll a d20 on a 1, the crystal is consumed. Ooh. So it still uses the spell, but then after that, you can't store spells anymore? The if you roll a 1 on right. a d20. The, yeah, the crystal just breaks. Yeah, it just turns the So dust. then it becomes an absolute 1. And, and then it just becomes a plus, plus 2 long the sword? Yeah. yeah. And it's just a stand. Well, but still, still. still. I still get a plus 2 long Until you get right. another gem to fit in there. Until, yeah, absolutely. But you have to craft it because the AIs connect to the gem in the yeah. center. Yeah. The AIs are the gem in the center. Yeah. So you have to be able to pull it apart and get the gem out. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. You can do that. I'll yeah. just <laughs> put the sword back in its scabbard. Put it on my hip. You know how to draw a longsword. Yeah, and another thing that could be another good spell to put in is dispel magic. That would be good too. Because protection. Magicians be no. Yeah. Being well. able being able to destroy non destructible magic items. With that, basically if you would hit the item and cast spell at the same time, so you make contact, it would break the spell and then the weapon hit hard enough. Oh. So you could destroy a magic item. That sounds ex- it sounds more than incredibly useful. <laughs> Yeah, but you gotta actually get it right at the same time. Right, it has at the point of impact. Yeah, so you gotta roll really well. Really, so, really so does that then well. make this sword considered a magic weapon or no? It's a magic weapon. It's so, a plus two. Okay, yeah. so then I could use it in uh, against the demons. Against them, like it ooze. And yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> and it won't get destroyed. No, it's, it's magic. So yeah, like my destroy. other sword. Yeah, and you nice. won't get minuses every time you hit it. Right, and it won't. Nice. Very good. The blade we're gonna find some good stuff. <laughs> well, we're down here. We're down here we're in the maze underdark. engine. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. gonna be good shit. Well, here. then we we know to you know look for stuff. I'm hoping to find a nice set of healers, like cloth armor. <laughs> cloth armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're in the wrong place for that. So you gonna keep the box too, or? I don't think we need the box. Yeah, go ahead and reset. I wanna take the box. I wanna do mending on it. Let's see if that resets the trap. Roll a straight d twenty. <laughs> That's an eight. I, was, I can't see what that is right here. You feel a vibration in it, but you don't see anything visible. Okay. I'm going to ritual cast so my trap. I say don't see it. Okay, you ritual cast it. Yeah, it's trapped. It's trapped. It's mm-hmm. good. I can't tell what it's trapped, what kind of magic it's trapped with, but whatever was holding the trap, the spell together in there to trigger is... Prepared. Yeah, it's, it's back. Just go ahead and... What are you going to do put, with it? Put it back where you found it? I was going to put it back... I was going to write thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so you take a note, right thing, and put it on the box. So they open it up. I'm pretty sure that they're not coming back. I'm pretty sure but, they're all dead. But, but yeah, but somebody, somebody will. Somebody on. will find it eventually. Maybe, maybe some other girl will come on. Look, oh man, my sword! <laughs> right? <laughs> Thanks. Well, drop it left. <laughs> right? <What? laughs> we run across him later and he sees me wearing it on his hip. He's like, hey, that was mine. Hey. Thanks. Like, Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, that was <laughs> fine. You're welcome. <laughs> Give it back. Um, I can put you on the tip of it. <laughs> like, I can put you on the list. I'll cast pain on you. <laughs> I'm out of my breath. Bane. <laughs> I gotta look at this. You're the bane of my existence. Sorry you feel that way. <laughs> my feelings are a little hurt. This is interesting. So now you'll have to. What's interesting? You'll have to. Uh, <laughs> oops. Good thing I didn't crack it. Oh. Throw a die on top of your tablet yeah. there. Throw one of your deep points hey, on. Hey, this thing was in my backpack, sitting like this, about that half the ground. I went to pull it out, and it went boom, and it cracked. Damn. Okay. Uh, Second drop, day I had it. Don't drop one of your boulders on it. <laughs> boulders. All right, so yeah, you guys went through this entire room and found everything in there. Nice. Well, good job. Thank you for identifying it for me. You're welcome. Uh, so how do I put a spell on the crystal? You basically cast it, you know, hopefully putting your hands on the crystal and cast the spell into it, basically. Oh, so it'll, it'll cost me a spell slot? Yeah. Okay, here, mm-hmm. I'm not going to put my fifth level spell because I only get one. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. However, well, before we eat, before we eat, uh, 
or tomorrow tonight. or tonight, whenever we eat again. Put it in. Put it in, yeah. and then we'll then we eat. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, because then you get it right back. Okay, so you guys gonna keep going or? Well, does this go anywhere? Yeah, or do we have to go little, back? around a little, little ways up ahead. There's a little curve that goes into uh, yeah. another chamber. Yeah, we'll keep going. Keep following. Okay, so I think you guys start walking. This cavern is small and filled with stalagmites and stalactites. Uh, it's considered difficult terrain, so it's gonna take you guys a little bit to get through here. Yeah. And there's oh, always presses. It's pretty dark except for the glowing fungus is every. So many feet, you know, all over the room. I can so I so I can see. I believe I don't get affected by <laughs> by uh the right? There's There's so many my, my sword of ill is on on my hip. The other one is across my back. <laughs> I'll just put your other one away. Yeah, uh, I might use them both interchangeably. I don't know. Might want to do fire damage or something. Huh? It's not a plus two, but still deals fire damage on him. This place stinks, and there's bones all over the floor too. Oh. Bones, uh... It smells like oh, crack and my rotten flesh yeah. and giant's toothpicks. Yeah, you do. Uh, it does. Imagine the worst smell you've ever smelled. Magnify that times a hundred. You have this little cavern. <laughs> Pretty much. It probably smells like the morgue. Worse. Yeah. A rotting morgue in the sun. Oh yeah, like an old morgue. Oh, in the sun. No. On a hot, humid Ew. day. Gross. Yeah. All right. Yep. I'm so probably I'm vomiting. Me too. Make constitution I, was, I was just gonna do the same anyway. What are we doing? Constitution. Constitution, constitution check. Oh, it's a check or a saving throw? Check. Oh. That should have been a check. Or a saving throw because I got a plus three to that. So I just uh, add my modifier. Oh, Eleven. Nineteen. Wait. Okay. My modifier is my, my saving throw, so I have a six. I have three to four. So you both roll. What? Six and four? Oh, Jesus. The two of you start vomiting like, a couple feet into the room, just heaving, and uh, it's bad. Or the dwarves. They're probably used to that kind of stench. They're dwarves. It smells like your mama. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't seem to be phased by it. Smells like my last more life. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I don't see what you guys are throwing up, though. I don't either. I say it dwarves. I've been in sewer. The sewer's worse than this. <laughs> I bet dwarves Yeah, I'm just kind of like... Yeah, it's just, oh, it's bad. I'm it's not phased by it. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, <laughs> whatever, That's guys. That's like an air pressure on your nose. <laughs> I've been close up to fireball people. Like, I'm, I'm good. Let's yeah. turn around and go the other way. <laughs> you're fine. Yeah, you'll you're be okay. fine. Just shake it off. My stomach is not I'm fine. You'll be fine. Through it. You'll Pretty be soon fine. it's going to be coming out my mouth. You guys fine. work your way through slowly, and you come out of this narrow passway, and you're back into that large cavern, except we're on the top right side of it. Yeah, so this, is, we just went in a giant circle. You guys are up higher though. Oh, where the water, oh. where the whole stream starts at. Oh shit. Okay. Should go on the flying carpet to the right. Well, you can see the roof. Yeah, it's not that much higher up. Every time I said that, everybody was like, "No." <laughs> well, because you want to fly over top of the maze engine. Yeah, that was. You saw the flying things that. There were shadows. They were scary. Uh, they probably could have eaten us or something. I don't know. Not with his daggers. <laughs> I didn't have them yet. That was a different time, Nick. That was before I had those daggers. Those were the old days. Cord hadn't <laughs> given those to me yet. It's like two days ago. This is the new stuff. I think he might regret his More decision. Like a bump. Yeah, I know. Alright. That was fun. Uh, is there any way to get around the hole? Going back through and around. Because you guys are up on an elevated surface, probably about ten feet up. Well, we see other Wait, can't go can't, anywhere. We can't just. It goes back down into the yeah, cavern. So let's just take the carpet down to the start and then take a different path. How high are we? Because we so we basically went like in a. So we, uh, you guys yeah, went cavern, up in a circle. Up in a circle, so we're back in the main thing. So we just don't go the same path. Yeah. And does it continue up or? No, no. no you guys have a good about ten feet before you're at the you're at the top. Yeah, okay. So just fly down or slide down. Is how? What's the? It's straight, straight down. How high are we? Slide down, okay. I'm just jump. Okay. Make an acrobatics check. I'm not jumping. Well, like well I, at least. <laughs> I weigh like 200 pounds. <laughs> Armor just do, alone. Just do a superhero landing. Now. I'm just gonna turn around and. You want to toss oh, that yeah. back up to me real quick? <laughs> oh yeah. He just starts floating back slowly. I have 15. Oh yeah, you managed to do it just fine, not taking any damage. Can you <laughs> flip? I'll count that in a bad. You rolled good. You do another front flip and land. They pull out the carpet. As you see, Nick slowly just. And he just kind of gracefully drops down to his feet softly. Yeah. 
Me, you, and the four dwarves. Me? Yep. I'm oh. laying back. I'm oh. laying and laying. Oh, he's just laying on his back cows. softly. <laughs> in the a little river. In the river. <laughs> in the river. I don't oh, no, we just came out and you guys aren't near it. That oh. don't matter. I can use a bath, right? <laughs> no, we everybody, everybody bath. got a bath earlier. We got a rain bath. I, I, I can't go a rain bath. through a disgusting tunnel. Yeah, we just went through that nasty smell. Whatever. It's probably like... We've smelled worse. We will, uh, we will by the end of this, too. Yes, Assuming we, we survive. Will. All right, so keep moving. All right, nice, nice one. I finally perfected my flips. So what's left? We gotta go. We got left. You went through that one. You went up. We gotta go back and then go to the right. Right. You wanna go right this time? Well, there was only left and right. Yeah. Then there's. Oh the, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. The razor, there's a cavern straight, straight, yeah. the cavern straight across. The one that goes to the right. Right. And, and there's one in the far corner. Okay. The three you guys didn't check. Let's go in the, the right one. Yeah, let's yeah. go right then. Right. Are you guys taking the one off to, off to the right? Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay. I used a healing potion, right? Yeah. Sometime after we get done and I'm fighting them, one HP away from full. <laughs> I was like, do I use a healing potion? Do I use cure wounds? After the fight, we've got a full rest, so you should be full HP. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the hero's piece. And, and the hero's, hero's piece. piece. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you just have to do the temporary hit points from that one, did it? What is it? Yeah. How many hit points? D10 or D8? Let me double check. I want to say it was a D10, but i It's a D12. That's a D. A D20. D100. D100. And you roll a 1. <laughs> right. Right. Rolls a, rolls a 100 on a D100. Roll a double 1 on it. Oh. Minus 50 hit points. Minus 50. I only have 25. You choke on yeah. the hero's feast and, and you end up taking it. <laughs> hero's feast kills you. Hero's Feast? Hero's Feast. Let me find it on here. This should be in my spell list. Yeah. It's so good. It's good for me. It's Hero's Feast. <laughs> Isn't it like 7th level? It's a fancy so. feast. It's Hero's Feast. Right. 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. Hero's Feast. 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 She sounded so elvish. <laughs> She's so wise. Hero's Feast. Yep. Just found it. And the spawn of devils. 2D10. 2D10 in the last 24 hours. And 2D10. Yep. I'm a Sith Lord. And you are <laughs> immune to poison and being frightened. Nice. And have advantage on all wisdom saving throws. Nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then what's the temporary hit points? 2D10. 2D10. Damn, I rolled one of them was a 10, the other one's a 3. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't a 1. Yeah. Or you didn't roll two 1s. I'll probably do that. An 8 and a 6. Two 9s! 18! 18. 14. Unless you have 14 and a 1. You have 14. Yeah, that's your temporary hit points on top of your regular. Yeah, I did what's the worst. Okay. And I rolled a 10! Yeah. I don't know what the noise I made was, but... Yeah! 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 Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Still need yas. Well, at least we haven't heard an. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I haven't been Not smacked. Yet. No, he's been doing that. <laughs> ah, fuck. Uh, so, okay, okay, no, so. that was the demon when I saw more daggers. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Ah, fuck. <laughs> that was that was a. Ah, fuck. <laughs> no, that was just. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> Come on, could you please give me two days? No, no, because then I would have had to cast it twice. <laughs> right. No, he had had to cast it once, and you would have had to cast it once. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Alright, so as you guys start continuing down the hallway, the it actually starts ground um, starts shaking a little bit as an earthquake. Um, is, is it a real earthquake or it feels straight? like the ground shaking, rocks starting to fall out of the ceiling and Yeah, but does it feel like a real earthquake? Yeah. Or does it feel like the maze is or, changing? Or is it a, a cause tremor? Remember, we're druids. Yeah. Okay, well, in that sense, make a nature check. Okay. Does it feel like an actual earthquake, or is it somebody doing something? I'm going to think real hard about it as well. And with my phony thing I, on here, I got a seven. I got a I, I didn't get my proficiency on there. Did you say nature check? Yeah. So it would be a yep, 11 is with a, my correct number. 16. Yeah. None of you guys can really tell if this is something shifting, or if it's an earthquake, or if it's something really big. I'm gonna ask the dwarf. Hey dwarves, do you know? They're booking it up ahead. I'm booking it with the dwarves. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> right, go. Um, Charge! As you guys move, 
the pan vine starts to collapse. Booking it with the dwarves even <laughs> faster. Yeah. The remnants of the falling rock open up a small vertical cavern along the passageway ahead. Apart from the occasional glowing insects scuttling along the walls, the caves are dark. Suddenly, a voice booms out, uh, booms out all around you in under com- in under common brain. Who understand that? Me. Me. It says, "Turn back or suffer a death so horrible you cannot imagine. You have been warned." And it's a female voice. I can imagine quite a bit. <laughs> There's no response. What the hell is she talking? What are you talking about? So, turn back or suffer a death. Is- we're, we're it's a death worse than we can imagine. What the hell is she talking quite about? A bit as well. no, it, it makes sense now. What? I said, but what the hell is she talking about? Death worse I mean, than I mean, you can imagine. Got, I mean, we're going through this pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty like I mean, cut and dry. Yeah. I know, but I mean, <laughs> does that mean something nasty's up ahead of us other than the main dungeon? I don't <laughs> speak under common, so I can just ignore it. We signed up for this. We're, um, yeah. we're yeah. in this. I'm going to keep pushing. Sorry. Does it sound like familiar? No, it was okay. a female voice. It was the only one I can think of was Hank. She's not check. here right now, so. Wait, can Hank. I roll to see what I'm into? No, well, we don't exactly no. have a choice. Yeah. It was an intimidation check. I mean, we don't exactly have a choice, but to keep moving. Keep moving forward. So. Sorry, Space Wizard well, Part 2. There was like a third. Yeah, I mean, the cave's collapsed behind us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. we can't turn, we can't turn we back. We can't go back. You physically can't turn back now. Yeah, you know, well, we could, we could fly over well, there. lady, whatever you were, you, you're, you're just a little a late. Too late. late. <laughs> As you guys are uh, moving through, you see up ahead these glowing, like almost like mushroom tops that are you know, moving up and then pulsing. There's like six of them, Ooh, and like they're floor. glowing and floating and moving across so the. So like floating. You see, it goes across the opening, and they're just drifting around. Do we start hearing classical music? No. Oh, what, okay. is it? what are they? Fantasia mushrooms. What, what, they, what, what, oh, they, what they sound they like. They're like mushroom caps. That are, gotcha. they're, saying, they're doing like jellyfish. Gotcha. Yeah, it, look, it, it sounds like kind of like floating jellyfish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But mushrooms. But mushrooms. Well, look they kind of look like mushroom gotcha. caps, but they're moving like a jellyfish would. Gotcha. I get that. I'm guessing those things aren't very nice. We can have the cross on top of them. Have some tasty mushrooms down here. I can't I jump don't very far. Think those and are some <laughs> explosive ones, like maybe five feet. How big are those mushrooms? <laughs> you can give me That's a very serious right look. Okay. You're like, I can't jump. Can't jump very far. <laughs> you can use the magic. They're bit. about that big around. They're not very big. Oh, oh they're itty bitty. Okay. <laughs> throw a rock and throw oh. them out of the sky. Why not? Well, you do you know what you have to do in order to do that? Attack. <laughs> Yeah. How far? How far are they? You guys are about sixty feet back from the cave exit. And are they? Are they between no, they're us and past the exit? They're floating on the next chamber. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna head on up there. And you go walk over, and there's about thirty of them in this room, just floating around. Ooh. And you look as you move, and these little stalks move out of the tops of them with these eyes on them, looking at you. And you see this. They're adorable. Oh, cool. They are adorable. Are you? Aww. Hello. Oh! Speak. So, who speaks under common? I do. You hear in the back of your head, Ooh, new people. It's just it's like child, like childlike, innocent voice, and you hear they all come all in the back of your head in under common. Because oh, they all start just like swarming around you. Like, you guys look really cool. Oh, thank you. Who are you talking to? The, the you don't even understand what I'm saying. No. Yeah. He's speaking in another language. Well, I'm speaking in another language. I'm just like, right. yeah. what? And they're all what kind of like what are you saying? moving around him and floating. and It's fine. It's so fine. what are you guys? What are you? What are you? I've never seen creatures like you before. They don't react to you speaking to them at all. What? <laughs> he speaks in under. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's why I raised oh. my hand when you asked. We well, he wasn't looking. We are the flump. Flump? F L U M P H. Flump. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> you guys look at them. They have these little tentacles coming off the bottom. They have these little tiny barbs on them. They're, they're kind of keeping tucked back away from you guys. Uh, so I'm going to repeat what they say to these guys through the ring. Okay. okay. Uh, probably going to have the same reaction. Oh, that's the cutest thing. <laughs> 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 
You guys are really neat looking. <laughs> so what do we do? The female thinks you guys are the cutest thing. Don't tell. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> so where, how are you guys all standing? I would imagine we're probably kind of cl- like in a cluster because like, we're yeah, we like, just come out of the cave. Okay. Just or maybe in a line at the front of the okay, cave. So then that, that wouldn't work. Yeah. What are you gonna have him like swarm her? <laughs> no, something else. I'll save that. We're gonna get a puff of smoke in our face and be dead. I'm frightened. No, no, these are only CR twenty. But there's thirty of them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah thirty eight. Summon lightning. <laughs> <laughs> And so they're all just kind of like floating around you, looking at you guys. It's kind of curious. They're not afraid, but they're curious. Like they've never seen beings like any of you before. I'm gonna reach out, like I was gonna touch one, see if it moves away. Uh, it actually moves the top of it into your hand, moving the eye stalks up around your hands and just keeps looking yeah. at you. And it's got this soft, almost not quite slimy, but silky texture to it. So I see him do that, and I reach out and... Yeah, they're all just kind of like moving around. He hasn't touched you, keeping those tentacles curled away from you. You're like this, and all of a sudden, tentacles. <laughs> right. Well, if they do poison damage, we're resistant, so... <laughs> no, they don't do poison. Okay. They just look at the one that's the nearest me. You guys are cool. Or they all pick me up and take me away somewhere. <laughs> right? Fly away. To the farm. <laughs> I dare you to grab his so, tentacles. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? That's something so, I'll leave for you. Do you guys person. live down here? <laughs> yes. Sorry. In this right here in this chamber? This is one of them. Where are those cool? Ask them if they know. Do you know where that noisy machine is at? That is ahead. How far ahead? You know? Just that's just that is through here. We wander the caves. We find it occasionally. We stay away. The machine is dangerous. The what was it? The machine is dangerous. We were sent here to stop the machine. Oh. So it would make it safer for you. That would be very nice. The room is very hot. Lots of flowing liquid to the floors. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've heard. <laughs> I've heard little bits mm-hmm. here and there. It is very dangerous down there. Large creatures everywhere. Bright flashes of light. Well, I think we can handle a few large creatures. But ahead, there is also very much danger nearby. What's ahead? What is it? Large, pert, large being like shaped like you. Strange things coming from its face, like our tentacles. Are they all good? Mm-hmm. And its pets. Its pets. What do its pets look like? Oh, yeah, I'll get a photo. <laughs> Just get some fucking out of there. I'll get another Oh, no. <laughs> ah, we've killed a couple of them already. I have. Uh, Small ones. Low level ones. This one's good. It was only 200, 400 years old. Yeah, only this one. Only been here for a long. They time. look like strange beings. Walk on hind legs, but use their arms to move on the ground. Arms as long as legs. Oh, probably. Kind of. Trendy. Yeah. Interesting. Got do, you know how, do you know how many there are in there? Double the six. No. <laughs> there are eight of them. Right. So there's nine in total. Mm-hmm. We also have four dwarves too. Yeah. yeah. We, were called for. we brought a cave on board. <laughs> <laughs> we brought we brought cave cave dwarves. How are the dwarves reacting to this? How are they? They're probably like, oh my god, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. No, they're kind of like hanging back, like, mm. Mm. don't know about this. Guys, they're fine. They can't hear nothing that I'm saying to you guys. Yeah. So. I, just, I just turn back and look they're at friendly. one of them. They're friendly. Guys, they're fine. You're, you're fine. Throw them the thumbs up. Just don't <laughs> touch the tentacles. Don't touch the barbs. All right, I need everyone to roll a perception while you're doing this. Ah, I've been rolling really well. They're too cute. 18. That's 
15. Seven. So the two of you see this. You two don't. You see one of these peeking out of the corner. Ah! <laughs> I feel like that's the thing. What thing? What did you see? Uh, I was distracted. Guys, as soon as you guys see it, it darts away. Ah, oh, it's gone now. Guys, we're not alone here. I know, there's like 30 of these No, things. I mean, there's something... I think we found. I think there's just, a wolverine uh, over there. <laughs> I think I just saw one of the things that, he, that these little guys are talking about. It looked like a pet, and it was scary. So now it knows we're coming. Mm-hmm. Right. So, it's gonna so you're gonna on. have to be extra sneaky. <laughs> no problem. Looked like it had teeth and claws. So did she? Man, yeah. once. I it mean, it's a little bit scarier. I mean, I I look like it's I belong here. <laughs> you want to be completely honest? You like a drought? No, I look like a... All dressed in dark. Devil. Yeah, I do also look like a drought with horns and a tail. Oh, no, you would look like, more like a devil than anything, not yeah, a drought. I'm a devil. Yeah. A dirty devil? Dirty devil. Dirty devil. Is there a way I'm around this? The devil! It? Is, there, is there a way around this thing, or is it just mm-hmm. straight through the, these things? Yeah. They live in these tunnels. Yeah. Okay, well, right. we're gonna say our goodbyes to those guys, and we're gonna head on. Okay, we'll move on through here and take care of these nasty things for you. Okay. All right. So you guys eventually work your way out. They kind of just float around you guys until they get to the chamber. They kind of all just drift apart, or like almost like waves breaking us rock. The way they circle around and they go back just floating around the room. And I was like, in real life, I'd probably. Shit, my pants at first. <laughs> I see this giant jellyfish with an eyes come out of it and look at you. Oh. It's like, oh, that's not right. <laughs> until, I, until I figured out it was friendly, I'd probably still be really fucking creeped out. <laughs> yeah. Even after that, I'd be like, I'd be tripping now. <laughs> oh, 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 didn't check that around. <laughs> it's good thing you guys didn't touch the tentacles either because they paralyzed on contact. That's why they were keeping him tucked away. But I will, it's kind of like the uh, no, you know, the basilisk keeping its head down. I figured. I, I think <laughs> they were lawful good too. Or for I, I, fi- I figured that if they're keeping their tentacles away from us, there's a reason. Yeah, well, it's the barbs on the tentacles that do it. Yeah, but still. Yeah, they spark and then paralyze you. I was just <laughs> paying attention for them to come forward with tentacles because then they were gonna die. You know? yeah. <laughs> well, they're lawful good, so. So unless we attack them, they weren't gonna be attacking us. Yeah. Alright, so as you guys continue walking down this hallway, you guys hear what well, sounds like scaring of nails across stone every, every now and again. Mm-hmm. That doesn't sound good. You know, it starts getting, you start hearing more and more of them, and eventually it just goes quiet as you guys reach the next cavern. Do we, then what do we see in this cavern? Just an empty room? Open stalagmites, stalactites. Do we see beyond the stalagmites and mm-hmm. stalactites in the ceiling? Yeah. Okay. And you see a door straight across the way. Well, a tunnel. I'm just like. Run for it? No. Mm. Are there any traps in this room? Mm. I think this room's a trap. <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> but. That's a, a trap! Well, yeah, but I mean, if we were to dart across the room, wouldn't there be something to go. <laughs> Whatever was scraping its nails is probably hiding behind one of these stalactites. Can I climb That's on top fair. of one? No, hiding behind it. Right, but it'll outline it one. Uh, if you don't no, see, see it, you have to yeah, see it. And if it's behind something, you're not going to see it. Can I climb on top of one of those slug types and like look down at them? You're welcome to try to go into the room to get up to try to climb up on them. You have to climb up one to get to the ones on the roof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be the stalagmites yeah. on the roof. Okay, just stalagmites, stalagmites, you got to climb up to be able to get up there. Mm-hmm. I think I have that the right way. Tights are on the bottom, mites are on the top. I don't know. No, no, no. All I know is mm-hmm. one of the bottom ones on the top and they're both spiky. Not always. Please don't talk. Mm-hmm. How big is the room? It's about 60 feet across. Okay, I'm gonna go stealth mode. Feet high. All right. And start weaving through. Roll your stealth. I'm not following. I'm gonna try to do the same. Roll stealth for anyone who wants to do it. Okay. <clears throat> I can't. The dwarfs are sticking with you. I got an 18. 27? Okay. Crap. I rolled a 28. What was your base roll? 19. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, yours, I'm a 17. What the hell's your spell? It's a, it's a plus 8 because of my, my, my high dex. <laughs> okay. Well, the three of you just, <laughs> well, you just like look at targets. Also, three of them are just gone. gone. <laughs> the dwarfs are like, 
<laughs> Whatever, dude. He's just he's just learned to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I'm weaving through the yeah, you know, going all, from following his lead you know, the, yeah. tight to tight in uh you know, looking for anything. I'll show you what you see. You see about three of these things in the room, hiding and peeking around, moving around between them. Okay. And they're probably a good... How tall are they? Oh, they're about, about your height. And they're walking with their... using their front legs, their front arms, their arms as front legs. Okay. Yeah, they're not too scary. I'm gonna tell back to him to get ready. In the okay. ring. Yeah. Prepare yourself. Can't remember your character name right now. Hair on. Oh, don't no, mix with you. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. next to you. Everyone. Three big scaries. Yeah. Okay. And, I'm going uh, that to the dwarves. Okay. I'm going to uh, take aim on one. <laughs> it's a swift death to my enemy. All right. Don't roll a two. <laughs> yeah. I want to shoot one in the ass. Just don't roll a two. Don't roll one. So we each gonna get a surprise attack on one of these things, or just him? I might be a sneak attack. Oh, you guys will get one surprise round because they—they're looking. They're trying to stalk you guys while you're behind while, we're, them. while we're stalking them. Yeah, you're hunting the hunters. So yeah. Do we see all three of them at once? Yeah. Can all three of us make an attack? Like yeah, that's attack? where it's yeah. gonna. I'm gonna put his regular. Take a shot over my bow. Oh, here he is. I'll take a shot at it with. Uh, I don't have any. Just as we're just as we're crouched there quietly. Draw my bow and pull, it, pull an arrow out. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the one that's back to me is gonna get shot in the ass. Is he the one you're making your sworn enemy? Yep. Okay, then in that case. Can I use. um? Mold earth to make like a stalagmite that's above the creature fall down. You have to be yeah, right up there yeah, on it's, it. It's, it's by touch. So you have to like so touch the ground. It's fine. Like, like, you can okay, cast a bonus action and all that. Can I cause one to. You get one. You have to jump up right, and be like, on the slide on the ceiling and then cast it on, on the second. Was there's like one round like. That would have to be your surprise. Yeah. Probably. I don't know if it's. Well, you around. can yeah, because you gotta you can move you can mold the earth uh, a five feet square. You can move it five feet. Right. So what if she moved it so five feet down so that it's no longer connected to anything? Yeah. Yeah, and then it would drop. Yeah. Just drop it. On but she's head. I believe it's uh it's the range on it I think is only five feet. Yeah. Right. You move only so, five feet at a time. No, I mean your range for doing it. Oh, the yeah. dirt is five feet away from you. Uh, so yeah. right so you'd have to be yeah, right up on it. You'd have to climb up there. Oh, to touch the one yeah. next to you. I just have another one like that. So And they're slimy, so good luck climbing it. Yeah. The creature must succeed. Um, okay. Can I do poison spray and try to hit them all? No, I bet When you get closer. Yeah, you got to be right up on them for that. Yeah, I don't really have anything that's like long distance. 30 feet? I mean, you could just run up and punch one of them. It's, pro- it's probably not advised, but you can still do it. I mean, we gotta, okay. we're gonna be fighting these things anyway, so it's just a matter of how we kick it off. Okay, Nick, go ahead and make your attack. Woohoo! That is 25. That's a hit. Okay, I got. 1d6 plus 3d6 plus 4d6 sneak attack. It's a sneak attack on top All of it. Right. The top of the um, crossbow is on top of it being the damage for being a sworn enemy. Plus 3. <laughs> and on top of it, plus 3. You gonna roll the other d6 then too? <laughs> I didn't see it because of this. Because that was in your face. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's ones and twos. Ones. Yeah, I see a, a six and a four in there, though. So at least we had a couple that were 
higher damage. 20, 20, 22. Yeah, still not bad. 22 right in the ass. <laughs> Can I? Just drink? Been better flipped over. Right. Yeah. Right. You shoot it and it just starts screaming with all those growling, roaring pains. You can hit it right in the middle of its spine. Go ahead and make your next miss. So now you know where he's at. <laughs> yeah. Now oh, you can hear the you hear the screams. Yeah, echoing. Twenty. Roll it again. Put Probably see him coming it. out. Uh, this one, I guess. Okay. Come on, double that. <laughs> Looking at you. <laughs> yeah, 20's looking at me. Does that count? <laughs> no. Roll damage. That's a crit. Well, at least I critted. That's wrong. <laughs> you didn't crit yourself, too. No, I didn't. For a total of 14 damage. Uh, roll a 1 right. on the damage die. <laughs> Better than a hit, though. That's I true, have... but still. I crit and I fucking wasted. I have one spell that's a 90 foot range. Okay. So, how far am I? Oh yeah, you're within yeah. Yeah, 90 it, feet. And then it's a 20 foot radius. Okay, so, so get, from the point you cast, it'd be 5, 10, 15, 20. So you could get, you could get all, all three, three of them. And I'm going to, then I'm going to cast Entangle. Okay, what's the effect of that? The Entangle Grasping Weeds and We vines. know much about Entangle. Sprout, <laughs> sprout okay. from the ground in a 20 foot square, starting from uh, a point uh, within the range. How was this other for character's the name? duration of these it's, plants, it's, turn the ground okay, area it's. into difficult terrain. A creature, when in, when you cast the spell, must succeed a strength saving throw to, or be restrained by entangling plants until the spell ends. A creature restrained by the plants can use its action to make strength checks against your spell save DC. On success, it frees itself. When the spell ends, the conjured plant is built away. Its duration is one minute, and the save is 15. 15 strength? Yeah. So that's different than the entangle I was thinking of. That's cold. This mm -hmm. gold band appears around your finger. Cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they all three save. Damn. <sighs> it was a good it's time. still rough terrain, though. Yeah, so now yeah. Yeah, it takes, takes it's a half, half of the movement to get out, just yeah. move around. So five feet is ten feet movement. Mm. Okay. In that 20 foot area. Yeah. Now I need everyone to roll initiative. Initiative! Uh, I don't want to do a Trevor roll. Box is leaving. I haven't done it yet. Today. Shut up. <laughs> <coughs> that would have been nice if I could have double critted one and just killed it right. Killed it outright. I'm no surprise around. Oh, yep. Yeah. Can I start Drop it from three to two before we even start fighting. Before. Once we get the initiative set up, it's kind of your turn, yeah. Because that was just them doing a surprise round. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because we were sneaking up on it. Yeah, and then I have the dwarves initiative to roll, but I'm going to roll their initiative as one. Okay. Oh, God. an 18. They only get plus two. Dirt got higher initiative than you. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, 25 to 20. I don't know, you skipped me. 25, oh, oh, you said 25 to 20. 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll get 21. Okay. Okay, 19, 15. 18. Just look, your dice around. I dropped it. I was holding them all squished together. Uh -huh. I can't do it under this. Yeah. Okay. I didn't tell them like this. And one, it. one popped out. My pinky twitch. Can roll shit again? Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I have an eight. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. All together. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my usual realm. <laughs> Last. I think it depends on the character. This character's been high initiative almost all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I know okay, you're so initiative almost all the time. As per the norm, Nick is at the top of the round. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot him again. Roll your attack. Fourteen. That's a hit. Okay. Just over AC. Better. I'm gonna take away four of those, so I'm gonna get to row four. Nineteen. 
19. Okay, nice. Because I don't get a sneak attack again. Because I just stuck a tank. You hit him pretty damn good. Hit him for 20 something the first shot and another 19 for the second one. Okay. He's hurting. He's like this blood curling howl as the second bolt sticks it. into he him. He definitely felt it, that's for damn sure. Right into the back of his shoulder. Definitely okay. felt it. Anything else your turn? She had two of them, one on either side of the bumper. Okay. Okay, anything else for your turn? Uh, nope. This one, now that it is frenzied. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Ugh. He's getting right in your face. Okay. He can handle it now. Uh, let's see. He's got some attacks. He has wounded fury now, but it's been but it's so low on health. That's your first attack. Twenty-three. That hits. Just barely though, right? Three <laughs> D six damage. I'm gonna do evasion. Oh, so you cut by half. Use my reaction. You take four damage on that one. Second attack. Fourteen. Miss anyways. Okay. That's it for it. It's turn. Next flick is up. Is it difficult to rain? Just in that one where that just, last one's at. Okay. Twenty feet okay. around. I'm gonna yeah. move thirty feet forward. Thirty. Yeah. Leading the charge? Yeah. <laughs> I speak dwarvish. Yeah. There's no I think you're the only one. Oh, okay, no. You two are the only ones that speak dwarvish. I have a common speech. Uh, dwarvish and under common. 45 feet. Nice. Yeah, That's cool. Alright. Where are you aiming at? Judic and Infernal Three. We can talk to each other. Okay. 
That's right. I'm going to cast it at... Alright, what's their save on or no? Huh? Their save on or no? 17 dex. It's not unlawful. Although it might not be good. It's not inherently evil. Uh, rumors? That's a 12. Yeah, they are. Nice. No, it's evil. only among the group. According to the Bible, they're evil. Oh, yeah, I get one more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a Christian. I'm. And the Druid. Muhammad does represent Dragon. truth. Uh, oh. So you have to stick next to your alignment. Oh. Uh, I have to sell a shoe. Because Tiamat is, uh, is represents the seat. Okay. Well, there's a the difference between trying to persuade your way through a situation and no, a white lie. No, I'm not going to be 100% truthful from you now on to everybody. I'm pretty sure Bahama would understand what certain situations. situations. Lightning bolt just strikes him and you see I'm it just go straight from the top of his head down through his stomach into the ground and he just <sighs> falls around smoking. He's dead. Which one? That one? This one. Oh, one. nice. Okay. Call lightning. So now there's a giant storm cloud just th thunder rumbling through the lights going in it. <laughs> yeah. And you see him just boink, boink. The shot. It's got a 120 range. Yeah, 120 foot range. So it's more than this cavern. Yeah, we can literally just go bop. <laughs> this range is the cavern. Huh? Like he can shoot any anything inside this cavern. Yeah, yep. I get sixty foot radius. And how okay, much so damage does it do? Uh huh. How much damage does it do? Four D ten. Okay. Yeah, the return. Yep. Oh, guess, and next turn I can just do it again. I guess I just, I guess I just need to be a magic magic caster so I can actually do damage. <laughs> <laughs> so this one. Maybe. Twenty. Twenty. That's it. That's all they can do. We told you after, after level six, I think it is the ranger don't get anything. Right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay. Back to Nick. He gets like. Oh, I didn't get. Oh wait. Through. Yeah, that's right. Marin was yeah. after the quarry. What about the dwarves? The dwarves are second in the rotation. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, Marin is up next. Uh, can I'm I go up to the one that's right in front of Nick's Wick? Okay. So. Uh, and. Alright, roll your attacks. So I roll 2d20 because I'm doing 2? You can, yeah. Or you can roll them separately, doesn't it? If you can roll them separately, the way he's using that 20, you don't, you know, worry about it. You don't list your other hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 8. Plus. Yes. You know, don't oh, don't plus, forget about your... Plus 8. So 16, 16 that's a hit. 16. 3 okay. plus 8. Eleven. Both. Well, the eleven misses. Okay, so, so you can lay your damage so from one. One d six plus four. Mm -hmm. One, so five. five. And then one d six regular. Yeah, a six. Plus so. No, no, no just an additional six. Eleven. eleven. You come running out, kick off of one of the, the rocks, and just bash the side. It just drops limp to the ground. Nice. Okay. It only had three hit points left. <laughs> Kill Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> Story of your life, eh? Okay, now it's back to Nick. <laughs> you just watch your run and Superman punch the side of the head. Just like... <laughs> pretty <Yeah>. much. <laughs> now who's going out back? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sitting here thinking the other saying on my bow. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll point it at that guy and, and say, Swift death to my enemy. Okay, so you transfer it over. That's a 16. That's a hit. Take a 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. 13 damage, all right. Okay, anything else? Yeah, from a bonus action, I'll shoot him again. <laughs> have uh, okay, now the dwarves. They might not even see any action this, this fight. Might not be until the next creature we encounter. Right, 25. The giant elf at 25. They're just advancing the line. Okay, now. Dead. Dead. Now, Irvine's next. Dead. People are, okay, people are yeah. dead. <laughs> Pretty much. 
Okay, and as my bonus action, I will transfer Hunter's Mark to that one, since the other one that had it on it died. And then take my shots. So he essentially has the equivalent of two Hunter's Marks on him right now. Basically. <laughs> nice. My Mark does 3d6, though. Yeah. His only does 1d6. 15? <laughs> that's for a hit. Attack. So the other one's a 13 base, that's gonna that's, hit. Yep. <laughs> yeah, these guys, all they have is their natural AC. Eight. No, for them, their natural is 13. Oh. They get 10 plus their dex modifier. Oh, that's right. 32 yeah. damage for both attacks. The base got moved up to. How do you want to do it? You did the exact amount of damage for hit points. <laughs> so put, put one, first arrow's gonna go through his chest, the second one was straight through his eye socket. Yeah, you see him lurk, look as you move your hunter's mark, he almost, almost like he feels it, he looks at you and it <coughs> and drops back. Ooh. Okay, so my quaggets are now dead. As the dwarves are all down in a defensive formation, moving up with their shields, like, oh. Oh, they're dead. They're like, oh, okay, put their stuff away. Anything on them? Nope. They're just fur. Might even skin them. Yeah, can I skin them? Do the dwarves want to skin them? I want to skin it. Anybody need a fur coat? Fur to trade or sell? So we don't need it. Worms like, we've only ever seen these things keep underground. They can that sell them. They could be too. expensive then. They could be expensive fur on top. They could be rare. Yeah, well, might as well. Not we've never been topside, so I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Well, well, they can sell them. Yeah, we'll skin them. Skin them and yeah, put the it. fur in a jar. <laughs> Everything's just going in jars from now on. Going in jars from now on. Jars. Yeah. How I've about a bag? A bag. Yeah. I've got bags. Just roll up in jars. Yep. Jar. <laughs> Speaking of, is that things done? Like. Oh yeah. You have about the jars about that much. The jars about that big. About that tall. It's about that full of the liquid. Oh jeez. Yeah. yeah. Could I like take their claws? Do they have claws? Oh, Blind claw. Or do they have large like no, sharp claws. teeth? Oh claws. I thought you said claws. Yeah, they have claws. Could I like? Attach, like, take off the claws and the teeth and attach them to my hand wraps to add a spike punch to my hand wraps. You might be. Are they magic? Mm. The, the hand wraps, yes. Then, then it wouldn't then work. Well. Um, you, could, you could fashion other hand wraps out of them. Yeah, could I yeah. fashion them? The teeth are about the size of human teeth. Oh, so uh, they're not. It's, they're well, I mean, it still would, you know. Still fuck somebody. Probably thing. hurt your hand, too. Yeah. 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 And they only have four claws on each limb. Yeah. Nah. You'd want to get, you know, at least like, you know, bear teeth or something. Yeah. Dragon, yeah. dragon teeth. Dragon teeth. <laughs> have daggers on your hands. <laughs> just on your palms. Just... Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking like You'd Wolverine, be the patty cake like... champion. <laughs> yeah. Of the world. <laughs> Trying to be like Wolverine. Yeah. Alright, guys. Okay. okay. I guess that. We're going to uh, yeah. skin them. Alright, who wants to be the one skinning them? It's going to be a survival check. I have plus seven survival. Well, mine's not right because I didn't get my bonuses. Well, what's, what is your? Is it was it not right on your other one either? Um. Well, you, with that, you probably wouldn't you get your proficiency with it? Yeah. Yeah, because it's one of the skills I chose. Yes, yeah, so you add your proficiency bonus to whatever it says. No, I'll go over and skin this one, I guess. Or well, that would be one, just five. Or you're so just doing one for all of them. Have her skin them because she's uh, best at Make three survival checks. Unless you want to do one of them. Eight plus seven. Yeah, she's got higher survival. Mine's plus, plus five. Mine would be plus five with first the one's the correct kind numbers. of difficult to do because all the muscle in there, how how tight the skin is to the flat uh, to the muscles and everything. This one's a bit older. No, it's not that it's older. It's just with the muscle tone and trying to cut through it, and you know, you're cutting a little too deep and getting into the muscle. And fun fact: normally animals that are that's older fine, are more you can scrape them. Skin. These aren't normal. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean. Some some laws of it just takes more work life. scraping the meat off the skin. Yeah, it's, you're getting it, but it's just take work. You're actually cutting too deep, going into the muscle tissue. You get meat on the skin, so yeah, right. uh, it's not, one, not a big deal. We can fix that. Sixteen seven. plus seven. That's better. That'd be like thirteen. Sixteen plus seven is thirteen. No, it's twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> What are the laws of physics? <laughs> the laws of math. Okay, wow. Mike goes, well, okay, that way, 6 plus 7 physics. and plus 10, and I forgot to do the plus You work in a 10. bank. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a cashier. At yeah, Walmart? The Myers. The Myers. Worst dollar street. Right, the second one, you know, it goes a little quicker, so now you know about how 
how thick the skin is and you know how deep you know, not to go for the muscle and it takes you about another 20 minutes with this one. The other one took you almost 45. Okay. The third. Eight again. Eight she plus. forgot everything she learned on the second one and went right back <laughs> to the... That's an eight total? She just goes no, on the No, eight plus seven. Oh, okay. Now this one has just about as much meat as the, fir the first one. It takes her another 45 minutes to get this one off, but they're intact. Yeah. A couple holes. A couple holes here and there. Well, yeah. Well, two of them. Especially one with the arrow holes in it. Yeah, it's got the holes going in it, meat chunks stuck to it. One of them's a little bit fried. You guys <laughs> yeah. ruined this fur with your fighting. It's not my fault. I did my best. Oh, but now you guys have <laughs> three quagatides. Nice. Two. Write down three quagatides. Q-U-A-G-G-O-T-H. I guess I'm giving it to him. Q-U-A-G-G-O-T-H. Quagath and quagath. McSwit grabs him and throws him in his bag. Yep. Oh, I'll hit it be a jar. A jar. <laughs> Just everything's being jarred. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get somebody to make me a giant jar for like my backpack. A jar, a jar, a jar, holding. Holding. A jar of holding. A jar of holding. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Every time you put something in it just makes it super small. <laughs> so you can see everything that's in it. <laughs> yes. I can think of a few spells in conjunction to do that. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I, love, I will want one so bad. Make it look like they're little candy machine balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we rest? Put it in a little Plinko machine. Mm -hmm. No, I think we're all right. Yeah. Shrink your enemy button. Right. No, I only used up like two spell slots, so I think I'm we're still fine. good. I didn't lose any HP that time. I didn't either. And how long did the... If we rest, we lose our heroes. Yeah, so right. We have to well, eat again. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Could, but... Booming Voice told us to go back, so I think time is up, yeah. The absence? Yeah. It's the absence. <laughs> the absence? The absence? Yeah. Time absence? Is the absence. I need more absence. absence? Yeah. Time is the absence. Sorry. <laughs> You're a priest. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the. Oh, absent. No, you think absent. Oh, yeah, absent. Time is of the absent. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> anyway, let's, stop. Let's, let's keep oh, speaking of that. Right? Pull out my flask. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's keep moving. Oh, okay, so. You guys start walking forward and make perceptions as you get out of this cave. Mm. Unnatural 20. Okay. Uh, I... Same unnatural 20. 18. <laughs> 11 plus 9. 17. Okay, so yeah, you guys see. You see this knoll standing there hunched over in the middle of the walkway. One eye is kind of stitched shut, and he's got scars going across the right side of his neck, down and under his armor. He's just standing there looking at you guys. Is it no. The other one from the yeah. rest? Oh, it's a different one? Oh. Yeah, that one took off. Can we help you? We freed you. He started walking towards you guys. Speak. We're now I can speak. Oh, hey. I speak just fine. Are you alright? I'm very, very, I'm very, you know, very well, thank you. Well, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm simply enjoying a nice calm walk through the halls. Mm -hmm. You don't happen to be hungry. <laughs> no, I killed the rest of my squad and ate them. Cool. So you have There's some more meat in that room back there. Yep. That's what I smell. Thank you, I very much appreciate <laughs> this. We, just, we even skinned it for you. Even better, no fur to choke on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Did you guys have a good day? You just look past him. Yes. You see just blood spattered across the walls and smeared everywhere. It looks like a gruesome battle. Mm. You know, chunks of armor laying off the side. And Weapons busted against it. And... Yeah. Well, enjoy your meal. Have a good day. Oh, I plan to. Bye bye. If you seek a guide, let me know. A See guide. What? If you seek a guide, let me know. Seek a guide. Okay. Well, we are trying to find our way down to the maze engine. Oh, very well. Let me eat, and I'll be I'll be glad to join you. Um, join you, guide you down there. Sure. In the ring. He did, he just said he killed his entire squadron. I'm pretty so. Sure. I'm he couldn't sure. kill me. I'm pretty sure we could handle it. He tries to get caught. I just need to know. Alright. It's a gnoll. We're fine. He's got a large gnoll, but I could probably punch him and one hit him. Like, <laughs> I don't know about that, but no. no. They say he's a large gnoll. So. Yeah. He's at least six foot. And pretty he's, muscular. And I have please. six spectral daggers with his name on them. <laughs> Alright, can we search? Can we loot the dead bodies? There's really loot. not much to loot. It's all the weapons and armor are busted up and ripped to pieces. There's flesh and. There's gore everywhere. The sinew and blood. The intestines smashed, smeared across I'm gonna the wall. find a clean spot and I'm gonna sit down and drink some whiskey and wait for him to get done eating his meal. I'll find a clean spot and take a nap. How much of that you got? I'm gonna go for I it. Two flasks. 
<laughs> Since Through Sheriff. Sure. <laughs> Anyone else? This is no. dwarfs pull out flasks and start taking a drink. Oh, we got our beer. This is the the um the good stuff for hundred year whiskey. It's a good stuff for my Warman ale. <laughs> How did you get made of dwarven ale inside the caves? They live They're in the dwarves. Caves. We live in oh. caves. Oh. They're, they're dwarves and they live We're on ale. raised underground. Okay, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> One of them was sitting there, he's like, something seemed off about that guy. When is oh. a null polite? He'd just eaten, and we just gave him more food. Gnolls have a pack mentality. But not this one. Not this one. It's probably possessed. Yeah, something. Yeah, was there anything up with his eyes? He offered to show us the maze engine, so. Exactly. He didn't yeah. attack. Gnolls, every gnoll I've ever How he figures that we're going to get killed there, and then he gets to eat us. Or take our stuff, and he Yeah. Either way, I'm pretty sure if he's if he becomes a problem, I mean, we can handle it. But with your thing, rolling it, with, think, going back, doing it, and back, roll it inside on him. Fifteen. He's being truthful for what you could have told, but something seems really strange about him. Mm. Okay. Together, one of the princes. Yeah, you can walk over and walk you can join him. Yeah, go join him. I'm not no, you walk over and you see him. Oh, he's no. got a looks like almost like a barbecue stick. He's sticking in, cutting a chunk of meat off and eating it. You know, relaxing and eating the meat. See, he's enjoying him. Yeah. Well, Are please you? have a seat. No, you're here. I'm fine. I'm you just can sit there and talk to him while he's eating. Now he's just cutting a chunk off and takes a bite. You can uh, peer into his eyes and take an insight check and yeah, just, uh, see if you can see stuff. anything off with them. Yeah, look into his eyes. You remember, you remember the swirling? <laughs> so, so, yeah. You see his pupils going wee, 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 wee. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a 13. Okay. Yeah, he you know, it doesn't seem like he's possessed, but you notice that, thinking back that liquid that was in the wall, that this not swirling teal and blue and green, there's some of that on his fur around his neck. It looks exactly like that liquid you saw running through the veins to the walls. Alright, I'm gonna be like, alright, you enjoy your meal, I'm going back to the other and check okay. them. Okay, he goes and cuts on the chop um, off and start eating. So Did guys, we just enter the expanse? <laughs> Close. <laughs> so, I, I looked at him and I seen that, he's got that little, that green, like, ooze, ooze-ish stuff from the walls on his, on his fur. Do you think perhaps that could have possessed him or given him intelligence? Maybe it mellowed him out. Maybe it's like a drug to him. Yeah. What are you thinking? I'm just gonna roll a religion check and see if I knew anything go back. Can I do a nature actually, check? Actually, yeah, it would be a nature check. It would be nature? Okay, well, never mind then. It's um, not demonic in nature. Yeah, well, I'll roll a nature check. I rolled an unnatural nature. 20 for a nature check. Holy crap. Damn. 17? Oh, no, I'm I just roll, kidding. I rolled a 5. You have no fucking clue. It's like, pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Well, I, I mean, I would eat it. Uh, 16. Well, so, 17. I would have, if I my nature with my proficiency, that would be 21, 24. It is the same liquid from the walls. And you guys still don't know what effect it has on living beings, but it, whatever effects have it, it's not making him act like a null. <sighs> so, whatever this, so, whatever this stuff is, is. Maybe ingested it or wore it. Dwarves like most stuff. What you, is you know the the, the like with like the the veins in the walls with the swirling liquid in there. And, and they, they all kind of look at each other. Middle dart or whatever it is. What does that do? Do you know something? Yeah, we've encountered it before. What is that word for it? I gotta find the exact name for it because it's fucking weird. <laughs> oh, anything down here is fucking weird. Everything is fucking weird. <laughs> it really like changes the nature. It's the of glowing the night light in. Oh, like it that makes you change alignments or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> or it's coming from the use case. So, so then it would make you. Uh, it could um, make chaotic evil. In this chart. No. Or chaotic. There is no evil. So how how long does this the, the temporary HP from the hero's piece last? Twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. Okay. Well, I gotta find the madness chart in here. Ah, well, it's the Fraseris. It's some form of liquid that's uh, 
from what our mages could best tell, yes, dwarven mages, is the energy from planes from other worlds mixing with the energy in this plane. Every experiment they ever had made the people go, made the subjects go mad. So well, he is a null acting normal is a mad null. Yeah, he's gone insane. Yeah, so he ate his normal. entire squad. He's eating those things, and he and one of like and he has very good table manners. He's like points over. You see him you know, pulling out a cloth and wiping his face, yeah. and yeah, he's acting like an elf. Yeah, <laughs> they're like they don't eat raw animals or other people. Yeah. They don't kill or them. meat. <laughs> yeah, or meat in general. Usually, fuck that idea. <laughs> so what it looks like to him is that's indefinite madness. Cool. Cool. Well, as long as he uh, right. doesn't try to, try to keep us. How long does the madness right? last? Indefinite. indefinite. Oh, yeah. He's consumed it directly in mass quantities. Oh. Well, as long as he doesn't try anything with us, he'll, he'll, he'll live. He's so that stuff. Now. It makes you go insane. By just ingesting it? Touching it will have the effect on you. The more you're in contact with, the worse it gets. Put it in a bomb. You didn't try to bring some back. No, I was thinking, put it in a bomb. Put it in an explosive device. Put it in a jar. Make the jar explode. A madness bomb. The dwarf's like, what's a dip in jars? I don't know. It's It's the same thing with lists. It's a reason. It's a (laughs) reason fixation. He makes lists on when it's okay to kill someone. Yeah. No, more like punch someone for me. But trust me, we needed it. You needed it. Well, I mean, there are ways of extracting it. All we do is find the vein of it. You have to be very yeah. careful, though, and not get any on your skin. Mm, it's risky. Everything down here is risky. Yeah. Yeah. That's more risky than, it, like... I mean, it's like cutting those mushrooms. I don't yeah. want Nick to I mean, to one little slip and they'll blow up right in your face. Right. Like, I mean, insane Nick uh-huh. would just walk up to the group and throw a bomb right in front of us. Or uh, maybe he wouldn't like bombs. Yeah. No, or maybe I'd be like that thing and be nice to everybody. <laughs> if you go any direction, I mean, get a little bit on your skin, you're talking maybe 10 minutes of going insane. Would you like some whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'd be very giving, you wouldn't like money as much. Yeah, at the um, worst, um, I don't know about that. At the worst, having a little bit on your skin, you're talking maybe 10 minutes. At you know, worst case, getting it on your skin in a, a large quantity, you're talking maybe a couple days. So where, mm-hmm. he's put, where he supposed this null came in contact with it? Was he trying to use it? Was he experimented on, maybe? Who maybe. knows? Maybe he tasted it. Um, he might have thought it, that might have been like an animal to Salt Lake. Or maybe he tried using it as light. Yeah. Uh, Rip some off the wall and use it for light. Maybe he thought it looked good, so he used it as a dipping sauce. Or a necklace. Yeah. Either way. So we know what we're kind of dealing with. Uh, it tries anything funny. I mean, it, with a priest like him, couldn't cure it, so. True. Nah. It's fine right now. It ain't killed and ate his entire squad. Yeah, but it needs to lead us down to the maze. He can do that when he's not crazy. I don't know, the other one was ready to lead us somewhere. Maybe we saved him. He just killed his whole family. He's little. <laughs> That's true. I'll we'll just keep an eye on him, I guess. They will offer to help him out after he leaves, it leaves us where we need to go. He doesn't try to kill us first. I think it's fine being sane, maybe. Just... Anyway, not speculation. <laughs> it is what it is. Well, they're like, well, we're going to sleep, so. They sit there with their beer just. Yeah, I'm Close eyes, still taking drinks every now and again. <laughs> you going to sleep? Do you get to take a rest or what? I have a short rest till I come back. Yeah, I'm just going to see what you're drinking. I'm going to keep the rain. Okay, so you guys get a short rest in, and after a little while, he comes back, yeah, and you know, well, while well, Nick goes off into a corner behind a pile of the remains of the bodies to go to the bathroom, yeah, he comes back in, wiping his face off, and he folds the little rag that looks like it was a piece of, like, a hide for a null. He folds it up neatly and puts it in his pocket, and, oh, okay, so, where is it you, you, you folks were going? The amazing Oh, yes, so yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. No. It's not too far of a journey. Oh, okay. Probably about another 30 miles ish. <laughs> so much <laughs> like that. 30 miles is too far. <laughs> Make it 25. <laughs> 28 and a half. 27, if you got a deal. 28. And that's with us going down the slope. Very well. Okay. We have ourselves in a cold, good sir. <laughs> 
and they're also lean over to you guys and like, this is kind of um, concerning. <laughs> Wait, not homeboy to finish peeing. He <laughs> comes walking back, zipping oh, back up. Don't I have a vial of that stuff? Didn't uh, I get yeah, into that's it? Right. Yeah, you, you got a little bit. Yeah, I, I have a vial of that no, stuff. No, you cut in. Did yeah, he took a yeah, vial. Oh, you did. You did. You did. Yeah. You did. I remember. <laughs> yeah, because I remember cutting into it and draining some into yep. a bottle. Yep. I have impulse control problems. Yeah, and you barely saved on the throat not to go insane. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't touch it. Yeah. Well, no, remember, actually, uh, yeah, that's right, you didn't touch it. it no, it, it, was on my, it. it was on my dagger, and it was, you know, and I just, it drained right into the bottle. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I was like, so, shall we be up now? Yes, we shall. Oh, right, right this way, and he starts walking, you know, walking completely upright, straight, you know, very noble walk to get this man a top hat. <laughs> In a game. In a game. The door's like, and a monocle. <laughs> and a monocle. Give this man a job. I feel like this man could run my company. You want to go have him run tables in the bar? No. <laughs> That's him. No. Because eventually this is going to wear off, right? No, it's no, definitely going to just get worse. It's permanent. It's permanent. He, he's yeah. permanently like he this. He'll start eating patrons. Maybe not. No, no, he would know the rules. It'd be, it'd be against his Good new trade. alignment. Right, we'll just keep him fed. Absolutely. Give him a pay, him and, pay him and raw meat. You've got a horse farm or some shit. I'm sure that they get old and you have to. You gotta take him out back. Yeah. <laughs> take him to a butcher. You yeah, break their leg. You just take him to him. She pigs and cows and people and small annoying children. Like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, do you think? My deity would probably agree. I was a little squeaky like his children. <laughs> You can just feel like there's something looking at you going, eh. The singing gnome does already have a bouncer, but Tom's Call Alley does not. True. Yeah, but he's got a ghost. But the uh, ghost isn't a bouncer. A ghost in a knoll in Tom's Call Alley, could you fucking imagine? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, just, could you just, just imagine like, a knoll <laughs> walking around in Waterdeep? <laughs> With a top hat, a cane, and a monocle. Yeah. Wearing a suit. Can we do it? He'd get attacked on sight. No. No, well, I don't know if they'd we'll even we'll let see. him in the city. We'll see. All we have to do is We're pretty for prejudiced. We would just vouch for him. We've got, like, we'll 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 got at least like three of the people in our back pocket. We're good. <laughs> One of them is a prince. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's see how this pans out first. And then we'll... Yeah. See if it survives. Yeah. Yeah. No, you just make a plan so he might die tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> There's all these things sent to the ring, or you guys yes. discussing this before? Yes, no. We're, we're, we're in the ring. No, we're. I was, I was talking in the ring. Okay. I didn't specify. Because one of you guys are discussing this with the dwarves, too. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, oh, he would be a god of <coughs> two taverns to the dwarves. Oh my god, I know, right? I don't, they don't have brew. I don't need that kind of attention. Uh huh. Two, three to four dwarves that know how to brew. Ooh, they can't. Oh, maybe if they survive it, I may have. Oh, but it's too far. One and two to the other. We, no. can, we have that tower that no one's living in. We could start one down here. <laughs> the Knoll wouldn't look out of place down here. Oh, that's yeah. It. I like what you think. <laughs> he could be their delivery driver. <laughs> I wonder if he can still like run on all fours. <laughs> and he's just walking along. You coming? We're yes, coming. yes, we're yeah, coming. Yeah. He starts leading you guys down, and I like the thing. You know, eventually you guys see like remains of like almost like a minotaur ripped pieces, and he kind of stopped and no, we eat it. <laughs> oh, I was just saying, I'm aging the meat. Okay. That's understandable. And you just see it later, his chest is ripped open, it's intestines are already been ripped out, and it's inside all its organs, it's just laying there. Just thought it was rotten, my bad. Oh no, it's just well aged right now. It's been there about three weeks. I'm waiting for at least another two. You gotta, you gotta eat it at its prime. Oh yes, of course. And you're just still walking along, you know, leaving down this cavern, it's going deeper and starting winding, going downhill, and eventually you just come to this cavern, there's like this rippling light going through there. Almost like, it looks like light going through water. I say, oh, yes, we're shortly ahead. Yeah, so he just keeps walking and roll perceptions. <coughs> 26. 14. Pretty light. 23. 14. <coughs> okay. Yeah, so low today. I'll go off the average. So you, guys, you guys look up oh, and you see five. above, it looks like almost like water above you. You see fish swimming through and. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm mesmerized. Yeah, you're yes. looking. You see, you're looking. You're seeing underneath water. You're underneath water. Hmm. Like I can reach up. If I can get up there, I can reach up and touch the water. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. D. What's all this? Like, oh, we're underneath the lake. I'm, is there? There's nothing holding back that water up there. I don't know. We've never been up there. Do we have a magic card yet? <laughs> Let me touch it and then the whole lake comes down here. Would that be bad? Yes, the, the lake that's up on a few levels up into the in the underdark. Are you Do I see Nessie? <laughs> are, are, we <laughs> oh. are we underneath Dark Lake? Yes, that's the name. Oh. Twenty five. <laughs> yeah, Nessie's up in there. That's nifty. It's about, it, quite a ways also low it looks like it's about sixty feet long. <laughs> but you look at it, it's going by, and you just see it, this large figure of these long tentacles just yeah. swimming by. Oh, the water. That's yeah. a deep lake. Considering it goes down to the all depths? Yeah. Why is it through that? Why, why is it <laughs> stopped <laughs> short? Sure. Yeah, if, if, if Nancy would have let us survive. through. <laughs> like, best no I can problem. discern, the magic of the maze engine itself seems to hold back the water. Oh. Uh, well, well, do you suppose we ought to keep moving in case it stops? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so you guys are walking quite a ways through this one long tunnel, and it's starting, you guys start getting tired after a while walking. Do you have anything to help you breathe underwater? Uh, no. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, 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 still do. Yeah, we all do. Yeah. Yeah. Because case that lake comes down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's kind of cool. You see some of the little water stop mushrooms. the maze engine. Yeah, actually, at one point you see this uh, stone pillar. Some of those water mushrooms oh. are you know, growing down the side. The little globe ones. Yeah, so there's a few of those here and there. So and the maze engine, could just, maze engine uh, could just flood after we stop. Then running. if there's some of those, I'm going to refill my water canteens. Okay, so you pop a hole in one, just they're watching. You know the next one? the water balloons. Yeah, the water balloon ones? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the fresh water. Um, yeah, I just grab them in my canteen. Oh, like or start good. grabbing them. And just grab yeah. one and drink it on the stock. Throw one casually at Airgar. Like, roll the roll, uh, range attack. Oh, I miss. How bad is it? <laughs> Four. Okay, so you didn't botch. No. But I'll, I'll, I'll see that and I'll throw one back at her. Roll range attack. <laughs> Uh, range attack is right, so that's yep. plus my dexterity. Mm -hmm. The nine. I have seventeen. Yeah. You both just miss each other. Up. I'm gonna throw one at uh, Nick. Roll. Six plus dead. <laughs> no, I'll just throw more balloons at each other. Throwing one at her. I rolled a seventeen. Oh, what's your AC? Ten. You just no, get no my, my AC is at seventeen. You just get hit right in the side of the head with a water balloon. <laughs> <laughs> the dwarves are kind of sit back, eating the skins, mm. and drinking the water, watching this. We need some stress relief. I'm gonna like throw one and mix with. That was gonna be my next card. Go for it. I'll try again. Go to all her. Plus. Are you okay? Couldn't get traction. Okay. He has our time on the tile floor. Sixteen. I need to trim his nails. Twenty. I have to get a twenty to hit you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just I just smacked you with one two with an eighteen. Yeah, Nick, uh, makes sure like, nope. Nope. I'm going to throw one at Erevan again. Okay. I, I need to hit once. I got a three. So I'm just like, you know. I give up. You guys win. Yeah, so you guys have your Goodbye. little water balloon fight. The dwarves just sit there watching, like, look at Nick, like, Which? they're wasting perfectly good resources. And then they come back. Just like, that's a plan, okay. I'm going to throw one at the dwarves. Okay. One <laughs> no. attack. No, I'm not going to. Okay. Let's just keep moving. Keep that up on. All right, so you guys make sure that the gnoll's just sitting there, you know, patiently waiting. Oh, you're done. He stands back up. Follow him. Shall we be off then? Yes. He starts walking again. Boy, it's not bad. I ain't wasting my water. I filled my canteen. All right, so eventually you guys reach the end of this cavern. And We've been down here for a long time. You know, as you get there, you start feeling another rumbling through the ground. The water bowl starts rippling like, you know, the rocks are falling into it. And... As the rocks guys... don't come through the bottom and <laughs> pop it. Right. I don't know if they necessarily pop it, they just fall through and crush whatever's below, right? <laughs> and once they get Nessie. all the... <laughs> yeah, drop Nessie through it. 
<laughs> that would just be. Mm. It, it wouldn't it be able to do survive. anything. Because uh, how high up it is just, it? It's high up, isn't it? Several thousand feet. Yeah. Well, it might survive the fall through the water, but then once it's out of the water, well, that's yeah, it to even the be bottom up. of the water. But it can. It can no, how it. far up was it to the bottom of the water? From I mean, from where the bottom where it's at. Oh, it's about sixty feet. Oh, yeah. Let's see what survived that. Mm-hmm. But just maybe not after if it doesn't get back in the water. We might if. Uh... Didn't we read that they can survive on land? Yeah, they can. Uh-huh. Abeloths can survive on land. But we might not. You guys might not survive the Abeloth. Right. Yeah. Using their fiends from the water, the planet of water. Oh, that's right. Oh, you could send them No, back. I just, I just, I just remember the fiend. An item Spanish. I have. Yeah. How's that shark? They only have a shark cut down here. Well, we only got a few more minutes. So. Yep, I'm getting to the last little bit right here. I need to do All of a sudden, you guys hear this soft music start playing, almost like elevator music, just echoing through the halls. Oh, fine. Oh, God. <laughs> and it just, it just doesn't stop. And that's what we're going to pick up next week. Oh, fuck. Oh, Kmart music for a whole week? Yup. <laughs> Play it on the stream. Yeah. So, the party has now met the Mad Knoll. The mad knoll that doesn't seem mad because the we're mad hatter knoll. Because we're about to be, dude. Well, okay. <laughs> What's the mad hatter's With real the name? Ace of Spades and the the Tom <laughs> Everything else has has to have the Ace of Spades on it, though. 